working. Twitch is, I hope, working. Mike is working. All the things are as they should be. Including Beanie has decided to join us, which was not a given since I have uh, turned on the air conditioner, which he does not always enjoy. Um, air conditioner also means I should probably update my filter so that it's uh, accurate. Okay, that should be better for you guys. Welcome on in, everybody. Uh, I'm going to start out with the usual Twitter, Discord, then we're going to be... Uh, doing some peelies and then I think we're going to be doing some more foils unless I have like an abrupt change of heart um I mean because you guys know sometimes sometimes I just change my mind and that's fine <sighs> autofocus are you gonna cooperate autofocus there we go is not a hundred percent a fan of these foils they are uh they are very prone to messing with the camera but sometimes it'll cooperate or otherwise i'm gonna have to turn off the autofocus again oh i see that the uh um, let's do that and let's do this and let's do um where do we want to be about there Sun, Trey Lala, Dr. Crotron, hello. These uh the cam the camera just is having a hard time with these, so I was just kind of turning off the autofocus there. This one is still my favorite. Um because of the way like I did the foil placement, like I got really good parts of the pattern. These have worn okay. Let me okay, wait, let me let me do things before I get distracted. Hey KJD. <clears throat> um okay we gotta <clears throat> we gotta do a twitter we gotta do a discord um i i i will confess i have a confession to make you guys don't be mad at me i did just a teensy tiny bit of offline testing because it just like i was like i just got i gotta see what happens here um Mm -mm -mm. oops um so i i did just a, just a tiny bit just like literally like two small tests that resulted in me being like you know what we gotta we gotta try this again so let me do discord <clears throat> and then i'll show you the test Okay, Discord is done. Let's let's zoomy zoom in a little bit here. Let's let's put this over here first, and then let's zoomy zoom. Um, like so, the story of this manicure. You guys know we did this uh, the other day that I streamed Wednesday. I don't know. We did it a few days ago. Hey, amethyst, and. Uh, it, it's the, the nails that have worn well have worn well the index nail i don't know if anybody has like a photographic memory is like that looks different than it was it is different because after uh like washing my hands a couple times it started getting like this little wrinkle i'm like what is this wrinkle in here i kept trying to like press it flat and it just started coming up at the edge just it wouldn't stay down for anything um and so I just peeled it off and I redid it. I was like, okay. And for several more days, I didn't have any more problems with any of the other nails. But now I'm just getting some oil because sometimes this particular uh, peel off um, can be a little bit stubborn. And I haven't really had it on that long. And like I said, the rest of them have worn really well. You see there's not... There's not like any chipping or whatever. I don't feel like any of them are particularly lifty, but look at this, this black here. Um, I think I must not have, oh, and it's actually lifting there too. I think I must not have completely top coated. Like there was a little somewhere that water or something could get in. 
and the foil there lifted off. I'm not quite sure when it was, but it was within like the last day. So other than that, like everything else, I mean, I really enjoyed this. It's kind of hard to capture in pictures. And even like, I don't know, foils seem to be one of the things that actually really like the ring light. Like it really shows them off well. Um, kind of almost even better than sunlight. But so that's the story of this manicure. When it's worn well, it's worn very well. And when it hasn't, I had to redo a whole nail. Last time when we were doing all our testing, I kind of talked about how I had heard about removing the backing of the foil. Right, you guys? So I this kept like going in my head and, and I was like, man, okay, I want to try it. So I took one and I cut it in half and I cleaned half off with acetone and half off with alcohol. <laughs> Th this one if that's not obvious um i got some little weird kind of bubbles in there but you'll notice like it's such a clean transfer compared to this one up here where there's like this whole corner's worth of stuff that just refused i mean they both both halves of this came out so nice and at the time when it was fresh I honestly can't tell right now. They look at they look just about the same. When it was fresh, I decided that the alcohol one was the best. So, what we're going to be doing today is alcohol removal of the back before we put it on my nail. And hopefully we're going to be able to get some awesome results like that. I'm not quite sure what color I'm going to go for. We're not like going to exactly do the same like with the red, white, and blue again. Because if I can get this up into... Oh, God damn it. My camera's not up here. You guys, my camera's downstairs. Pro strimmer, y'all. Pro strimmer. It's not, it's not hard, Amethyst. You just like with the q-tip <laughs> i can't i'll be i will be right back i'm i'm not even gonna put music up because i'm gonna be so speedy you guys i will be right back Face cam is really not doing a very good job with the blue of this dress. Like it almost looks... There. I mean it's much more bluer. It almost looks teal. Oh well. I'm kind of surprised Beanie stayed up here. But uh, I have returned, obviously. <clears throat> I had it downstairs when I was taking some pictures of this in the sun before it got all beastly hot outside and uh set it on the table surely i'll remember to bring this back upstairs yeah mm-hmm yeah sorry for the for the jostles No, Clark and Bean, they're both so tired. He's just, uh, ooh. <laughs> it's really hot today. 
So I think the heat has tuckered him right out. I mean, he just doesn't even care right now. <laughs> Hey, Wesker. All right, Doc. Okay, so first things first. God, my miracle mat is filthy. Let's get a paper towel and just cover it up. Maddie Boo, thank you for the follow. There. Beautiful clean. Um, I, I also, I would have loved to have my silicone tools for this. We talked and looked for them all last stream. I did some more digging. Obviously, I need to do some more because I did not find them, but I did find the little weird rubber-tipped cuticle pusher thing I was looking for. So this is what we're going to be... Well, we're going to test first. We're going to peel this off. We're going to test a couple things. And then we're going to do the thing. Whatever the thing turns out to be. Oh, I hate it when Target's out of stuff. Well, you know, Amethyst, I I would not sad face over that because as a kid, I remember just being up in the sandbox with the hose running. Wet sand is fun as hell. yeah that's all right then you just fill the pool back up and say get in there and wash your little monkey self off run around like a little animal no i remember because you can i mean well you know <laughs> just just of course i don't know how how well he'll cooperate that or if he'll escape into the house all right let's uh Let's find... Oh, we are not... We are not on camera. Hello? Camera, are you... Do you not have a battery in you? There. What the heck? That was weird. Alright. We will uh, find our edges here in preparation for the peel... I can see how that would make it much less fun, Amethyst. No. That's a lot of these. Like, I'm not really... The edge is not easy or obvious to find. Oh, I hope this is not a tough peel. Some of them have a little bit of tip wear at the edges. There. There. Sorry, I know I'm off camera right now. I'm just really trying not to... Man. Where's the edge? There it is. Okay. There's the edge for you. See, and this is even... I've been... Wondering how this would... All this would peel. What I found is like, if you can get it started, it peels decently enough, but <clears throat> it's almost like it's it's way easier if you wear it like a longer period of time. Like even though it's a peel off gel, it's still like a longer wearing sort of a thing. Hey kittens. There. The thumb is not too bad. See, that's how I would like for them all to be. Where I could just easily find the edge. Like, the pinky, I still just, like... It doesn't want to let me in. It's really being difficult. I mean, it would be great if I wanted to wear this a couple more days, but I don't. I, I want you to come off, please. Mm. Ooh, there we go. There we go. Alright. And I don't want I don't want to get them started too much. I just wanna have I don't want to have all this in the little peely video. 
One one day, you guys, there will be such a massive Peely video. Somebody on YouTube said, I, sh I shouldn't even fast forward the whole thing. Just let it be like eight hours long. <laughs> that would be hilarious. Mm. There we go. Yeah, I, I, I literally couldn't even tell you like how many I have now. I just, I like recorded out of habit, but I don't do anything with it. See, now this is the one, as I was saying, it's lost some of its foil. It, it's got like a pocket here. Like this whole section now has lifted. The rest of it is still pretty much like stuck down. I feel like this, uh, the adhesive is giving the peelies of these like kind of a weird what I would consider a weird uh, consistency for gel peelies. Like, usually gel peelies are quite hard. And these are, like, kind of soft. And I, I have to attribute it to the adhesive layer. Yes. Well, yeah, yes, Amethyst. No Trelala. Um... I don't know if anybody... It's like sometimes stuff still ends up happening. Um, I, I don't think I'm going to participate. I, I need an off week. Like, it would be fun. Look, I'm like already like, oh, maybe I could... But like, when I participate, then like I don't get to watch. And I miss watching everybody too. If, if they were to throw together an impromptu thing. But what I think is maybe happening tonight... Um is uh, Luke maybe doing some 106 runs. See if his uh, 212% <clears throat> comes to pass. And if so, that is where you will find me. Hopefully with some nachos and some strawberries. That's what I have to do. Okay, so we got to do this. I got to clean the strawberries that I picked yesterday evening. Yesterday evening. Um, it's a, kind of a weird way to put it. Um make some dinner and then sit my ass down in front of Twitch and hopefully be entertained. Um, that, that's what's on my to-do list. Now I lost the spot where I, where I thought I could get this started here. Or maybe Dr. Crotron will have time to do a SRAM. I don't know though. Or maybe somebody else. I don't know. We'll see what's going on, but I don't think I'm going to stream because I also need to edit. I've been really tired. I've been really like brain dead and I haven't edited in like a, a week and I have stuff that needs to go on YouTube like a week ago. <laughs> so, um, yeah, I'm, I'm going to try and not let, no, I'm not going to try. I'm not letting myself get talked into any races tonight. And if I watch races, I'm going to be working at the same time because tomorrow is the end of June and I would very, very much like to get the rainbow design up in June. So that needs to happen. And already for that to happen, that means skipping over, not like skipping forever, but skipping over two manicures. Um, and then obviously, I mean, this was done for the fourth. So then this needs to come next. And that means that uh, those manicures are still sitting there waiting. And, um, obviously we're doing a manicure today. So I'm like, okay, I need to like, just bite the bullet, get back on, get back on top of this. Hope I don't make any mistakes. Cause I still feel a little bit sleep deprived. Um, but yeah, editing is, uh, in my, in my near future. A lot of it, unfortunately, one of my least favorite things, uh, this is not a horrible peel, but I feel like it's kind of a tough peel. Um, I mean, it's a surprisingly sturdy peel off base. I definitely recommend like a lot of times when I'm, when I'm peeling off a, a one with ready for takeoff, I, I don't necessarily oil right beforehand, but with this, I absolutely do. But I mean, the peelies are coming off in pretty nice pieces. So there's that. Whoop. 
Okay, that's weird. Like a little ropey section right there. And then sometimes it's harder to peel at the tip. Or, I mean, you gotta be really careful. I have had, like, in cases where I've had cracks or breaks or patches, um, like, worsened the break or, or made the patch fail while trying to get it to peel off the tip of the nail. I, I much prefer it when they come off easily like this. And you can kind of just go side to side and the whole thing. Well, side to side actually being top to bottom, but you saw what I was doing. You, you That's the great thing. I don't always make sense, but you can see what I'm doing. So, anyway. And if you can, like, really get a good grip and just peel it, a lot of times that works well, too. Ooh, that's not cool. That's like a little piece of my nail. Stop doing that, base coat. Oh my god, you're horrible. It makes me not want to use this again. You guys see it right there? Or is it an illusion? No, I'm pretty sure that's a piece of my nail. Motherfucker. Oh. Mother. Fucker. That's super not cool. I hate using ready for takeoff with gel polish though. Because they just like literally pop off. That's why I prefer this one, but that's like not cool. But it's never that's never happened before. Do I take it as a one off or do I take it as a warning sign? Oh, this was my favorite, and the peely is gonna suck. Oh well, actually, it's not as bad as I thought it was going to, but it's still not a very good peely. I'm I'm just assuming you guys are as horrified as I am in chat, but I have to finish. Finish this. Oh, this is it's like loppy almost. It's weird. It's like waterlogged. I have to think that it wasn't like sealed. It's properly sealed in with top coat. Yeah. That was weird. That was horrible. Hi. Whoever else came in while I was gone. Looks like Emmy and Sparkly. Faharis. Hello. This was the uh, Madame Glam peel off base coat. Yeah, I'm... I'm, I'm feeling some feels. Yeah, Sparkly, I enjoyed them a lot. Yeah. We uh we had a journey last time. We had some really decent testing with foils. Um like with the full design and then when I tried to do it on my nail, we had a really big fail. Um So then we switched to this kind of more uh random piecemeal design get these little extra bits off here i mean the rest of my nails look fine but you guys it peeled a peel like a sizable i mean it's very thin it's like a wafer thin tiny piece but like that's not cool you have you you did but you haven't because it's what we're doing again today but i'm just i'm having some feelings about this base coat right now and i missed a bunch of of, of comments and i'm i'm feeling bad about that but i'm also not going to scroll back up because i don't want to lose my momentum you guys so i apologize and feel free to repeat yourself. 
<laughs> now that I'm actually having a chance to look at chat. But you guys are really understanding about like when I'm concentrating for a recording or something when I can't look at chat. I need to like buff this out. This is horrible. I'm I'm like low key mad at this base coat. <laughs> but I still like I still appreciate it, but I appreciate you, but that wasn't cool. Th and that's actually like how I felt it was when I was using um, regular polish with it. I felt like it was doing that. But this is the first time it's ever done that using gel polish. Maybe like I said, because the gel didn't like fully, fully cure all the way or the gel did but that adhesive layer did but it wore it wore well it wore well and the rest of my nails are okay so yeah i guess we're using it again if i have another problem with it though i mean y'all will y'all will see i'm not gonna let it get away with that if it if it like if i regret this decision <laughs> um you guys will see Yeah, so the thing is, last week, it wasn't even last day, week, a couple days ago, the whole thing was I ordered this super cheap nail foil gel on Amazon. And this is, I did add this now to my nail polish essentials uh, Amazon list, which is below my profile, below my player in the profile. Um, or maybe if I was organized, I did a... Uh, I did a command. There might be an essentials command. See, I'm looking at like every little tiny spot on my nail that's like a slight imperfection. And I'm like, was this here before or is this due to this base coat? Like, I'm super suspicious of it now. Let's, uh, I've got a, like a little bit of small bit of uh, gel polish and, and stuff residue. So I'm going to grab some acetone real quick. I'm going to move these over here. Put them in the peely bag later. Um. Yeah. So the whole the whole point was to like test this, and I had really low expectations because it was very cheap, and it turned out that it's like very sticky. Um. But then I had some problems in my my like full nail design application. The red and the blue came out really good. And the silver just refused on my nail to come out good. Why does this feel like it's... Yeah, that's like a little hangnail thingy. There we go. So, I'm just gonna clean up the rest of my nails right now. And then I'm gonna... I'll pull out the box of foils again. Well, it's already like out. It's like next to Beanie. And we'll see what else we have in there. Like if I'm, I'm kind of thinking maybe to do the gold. Sometimes I'll just, you know, like this. It's from wrapping the tips. You don't want to be too rough, of course. But sometimes that's easier than actually soaking it off. Yeah, I feel like I've had some problems in carrying the foil into a gel base, depending on the colors. It's like some colors are harder to cure or you get a spot where it's not quite pressed down. I really like this stuff. I'm... I'm... I'm hoping what I want to do turns out well. Because the problem I always have with foil glue, of course, I never did get the kind that you recommended me, and I will because I do plan on making an order from them. So when I do, like, order some foils, I'll order their glue. What is it even called? Do dollar foil nail? Dollar nail foil? You know. Anyway... 
But I just decided to try this on a on a whim because it was so cheap. I was like, it's a win win situation. It's it's so cheap. I I don't feel like I really lose anything if it's not any good. I've done that before, Sparkly. Also, especially, like, if you do the full nail, like, how do you get it to just lay flat over the entire nail? That's the thing, because your nails are so curved. I can do that in strips and still not have it be 100%. But I want something where I can really capture the full, the full design on my full nail. Moon! Moon Bandit. Yeah, you missed the peel porn moon. I'm sorry. You'll have to check the bod. We are we are just doing super super boring cleanup like like that. Which doesn't even matter cuz the exact same thing is going to happen. Well, if I use black as a base again, I could use white as a base again. Maybe I should try the other brand see if that is a little bit better or nicer for me with the peeling hey Karina thanks for popping in to say hi I hope you have a good day Yeah, but I feel like when you're trying to do the whole thing on the wet, it's even it's even more difficult because like you don't really get to press it on there. You kind of just have to like lay it on there and hope. That's how I feel like when I'm doing it. Okay, just a couple little spots. I'm thinking about colors right now. I'm really leaning gold. I'm really quite leaning gold. Pot's pot. Oh. Well, and the gold is pretty fantastic also i mean all a lot of them are good i'll pull it up for anybody that hasn't seen them see just see if anything else catches my eye whoa what do i have in here oh i just have a few little I mean, some of these also are very nice, like these these silver patterned ones. <laughs> That's a good gold too. Um, the gold fireworks, though. Of course, you know what? This is interesting. Do I still have the others out here on my desk? I must. I didn't put them away. You barely can get the circles are cut at different points in the different rolls. Like you get much more of the full circle on the blue roll. <laughs> blue blue is trying to play hard to see. Whoa. What am I oh sorry. I'm like, how is it zooming out on its own? I'm pressing a button with the box. Um, but you see what I mean? You have like that much of the blue circle and like half a centimeter less of the gold circle. I could still probably get a full nail out of that though. Pew! Pew! Or, of course, we had discussed using the smaller four, the four together pattern. Either straight on or like a diamond. <laughs> Let's play with that. Of 
What else do we have in here? Is there anything else that would like really change my mind? I I have some other ideas of how I want to use this too. Oh, this is this is a really good one. Like it. really kind of blows your mind. I don't think I'm going to do that one today, though. Mm. Ooh, look at this. Ooh, it's so purple. Oh, <laughs> let's, we'll just try that. We'll just see how that comes out. Ooh, I've got that in black, too. Should we try that? Let's just, we'll just try that. Um, if I, you know, do I have this in another pattern? Or another color, I mean? Do I have like, I've got red. I don't really like the way they go together. What is that? What if I did like stripes of those two? Would that be insane? Even I, I guess the pink and the red could go together. Pink and red don't normally go together in my head. I'm so, I'm kind of disappointed. I don't think I have like a turquoise or something in that pattern. Do I not even have like a blue in that pattern? This is how you end up just buying all kinds of nail foils. You're like, I just don't have anything in this specific pattern that I want. Okay, this is enough to play with for now. Hey, Ninja. Okay, so we got these. And we got, do I need, I need to. Well, I should. <laughs> so we've got like a lot of a lot of pretty things here. Like, they all tempt me in different ways. I'm sorry, am I encroaching on your chair, Bane? You know, I really, oops, like a lot of these are really nice. Do I have that in any other pattern? That scintillating circles? How often do you get a chance to use that word? This isn't quite the same. It's like, uh, SpaghettiO shapes. I got lucky that I actually had multiples of the firework pattern to work with for my last manicure. Hmm. I kind of like those together. Hmm. Okay. These are what we're going to test. Hmm. 
Okay, let's, uh... Wow, where'd my other... Oh, it's up here. Oh, that one's all full of glitter. Oh, the copper! You guys, I forgot about the copper. How could we possibly... This gel is not only excellent for foils, it also does a pretty damn nice glitter burnish. As, uh... You can see in this copper here and in the purple. So, yeah. Okay, let's, uh, one, two, three, four, five, six. We've got six foils. And I mean, I probably want to do like a couple combinations too. I should probably order some more of this. This is not a very large bottle. 0.26 fluid ounces. I don't remember how long it came, took to get to me. It's probably from somewhere far away. All right, let's just lay out like a few nail-ish sized swatches. Oh, I'm going to have to get the lamp out. I put it away. <laughs> After the other manicure. It is kind of big to just keep like out and about. And then maybe while this is curing, I'll get out a little cup and a little bit of alcohol. I would like to see, now I see here there are like a couple bubbles in some of these. The holes that I got on my other testing, is it from bubbles like these or was it from a problem with the foils? I mean, I try to get them like pretty smooth before I stick them in there to, to cure. All right, move the phone. I love this little footrest I have that has like storage inside of it. Makes me feel organized. <laughs> Just bored. You never know. So let's pop this in there for 60 seconds. And do I have another lid I can use? Maybe I can use like one of these. Well, yeah, that's like slightly larger than normal. Let's just like cut out some strips to play with. This is really pretty. Turquoise hollow just shimmer sparkly thing. the glue do you mean son or the adhesive or I don't know whatever you want to call it I mean it's 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 kind of a glue but it also at the same time feels kind of misleading to call it a glue okay please get back into your little jar here fuchsia <laughs> yeah oh i mean how do you how can i not want this on my nails how can i not want literally all these on my nails <laughs> Ooh, that sounds super cool amethyst Hey, 
you, Dino? How how am I somehow not surprised that you do not object to hollow foils being being used? I hope you're doing well. Alrighty, you guys. So we've got we've got like a lot of stuff here. And they're all whoa, that black. That black, oh my god. Black is like contender with the with the gold fireworks. Okay. Um I kind of want to see how this gold and the turquoise like lay together like if I were to stripe them so if, oh wait 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 I'm forgetting you guys I almost forgot one of the most important things we're testing today I almost just went straight to it because this worked very well the last time but I didn't realize how much it could be improved until I tried this so let me get a, uh, let me get a cup to put this in. Or do I still have that one? No. Wool. Should have grabbed this earlier. There's so hard to get to right now. Okay. Oh no! Oh, I actually grabbed like three cups. That's super unnecessary. <laughs> and let's actually make this a tiny cup because I don't need that much alcohol yeah so does anybody more knowledgeable than me like understand like do the foil people actually intend for you to do this Like, do the do the foil people actually intend for you to do this shit? Sorry for the yellow you're gonna get here. I actually may have to. There, how's that? Okay, we'll go like this too. We've I've got like fans and stuff going. This this yellow is my my blocker so that my foils don't blow away. So what we're gonna do here is we're gonna get a Q-tip and uh, we're just gonna like clean off the back. Like I don't see anything like on the Q-tip, but you see how it's like if I can get it to like stay still. You see how it's like getting more more hollow. That's the uh that's the blue hollow. So I'm going to do that to all of them. I don't understand what I'm doing, but I'm doing it. I'm removing something. Or maybe I'm just cleaning it of of any oils that it may have been contaminated with. I don't know. And I don't know who discovered this. I don't know who to credit this to. I mean, I've, it's not like a secret. You guys, I don't know. Have you heard this also? Have you tried this? Was it one of you also, in addition to many people on Instagram that told me I should do this? Wow. I mean, just see how much more it like. And you can like really like, whoa. Let's use the, the clean end here. You can get a lot of this, like, I don't know, residue or whatever off. I'm actually getting a little something on that one now. Let's get a, let's get a fresh Q-tip. Oh, thank you, Amethyst. Kathleen, Caitlin, Q, 
Catlin. Thank you for the follow. Mm. You barely made a dent. Sometimes that's what happens when you actually count them or do something where you realize the size. It's like, oh, I have I have more than I thought. Okay, so wow, this one is noticeably more hollow than any of the others. Maybe I should go hard over more of the other ones too. Because that one I basically cleaned like twice. Or do I need to like have a control? Like if I like... Whoa. It, it gets hard to hold them in place too. Yeah, there definitely is like a, another layer. Let me do like partly of this one. Can you see? Oh, it's there. See the difference up in that corner? Oh, it's so hard to get it there. Like where I was able to remove a whole nother layer of, of what? We're just going to do part of this one and see if we can see the difference. <clears throat> yeah, I mean, they're not, they're, they're a little bit stuck, but it's just alcohol. It's pretty dry. And, uh, I'd say keep, keep an orange sticker too handy to, or a tweezer too. Cause that's the other thing too. I mean, like I was just using oils on my fingers. Most of it's absorbed though, but I do have my tweezers here if I need them. Okay. So the first thing I was going to test was how these two stripe together. So let's press it and use this to press it. Ooh. Wow, it rubbed itself right off of there. That came off easily and super clean. Let me, uh... Let me hold it kind of in place while I'm rubbing it so it doesn't completely just... Sorry, I'm probably like completely blocking you guys. I'm just rubbing it. See, okay, so like this little hole here. Was that like a bubble in the polish or a bubble under the foil? Like, can I fill it in? Can I? I think I had a bubble in the polish there. So I need to be really super careful with my application. Look at that, though, you guys. So what if we, like, just continued it, like... Like, you can use... Oops, get off of there. I mean, it's, it's like so reflective camera. I'm getting like really nice clean lines though. Now, of course, this will be more difficult on my actual nails. I probably would cut smaller strips, but I would still, I think, use this overlapping technique to keep the edges really clean. Oh, duh, I see now why there's a bubble here. It's because I'm on the perforation. So same thing happened right there. Other than that, though, it's a clean, clean transfer. Let me put one more of the blue on here. 
Oh, Amethyst literally just said it was because of the perforation on the tag. <laughs> oh. Hmm. Let's put one more strip of the turquoise. Wow, I didn't even barely press that and it just like came off. Just clean. Just... Dude. And then like, okay, so which part of this? I've Oh, it wasn't this one. It wasn't the black. It was the purple. That we did part double and part not. So, there. See? This this side is just like a single swipe with alcohol and this is like a harder swipe with alcohol so let's see like if i stick this on here let's just let's just give this whole sticky to the purple and see if there's any difference in those two sides. So this side, yeah, this side should be the side with two passes. I don't really see any difference there. You guys? Sorry, the gl the glare is so it's so it doesn't even just the camera just is so confused. <laughs> it was a good clean transfer though. Aside from looks like there was another like bubble. All right, let's take a look at these couple other colors. I think this will be good for getting in like close to my side walls and stuff. I intend to try and use it at least um, some with with this in addition to my fingers. I don't have enough colors, Dino. Yeah, all the problems that I'm seeing are problems with the adhesive application. I definitely think the foils are coming off more cleanly like across the board with the uh the alcohol cleaning oops you gotta like press it get it stuck and then like buff it yeah this is the one that was a little bit too thin it's like if it gets thin it almost shrinks and pulls a little bit as it cures and leaves these little cracks. And then where the little cracks are, it's not sticky. Like it actually is pulled away enough to not be sticky. Will you fit here? Hmm... Yeah. Oh, they're still so nice, though. So, like, one of the things I kind of feel like with the red, silver, and blue, my I feel like my right hand turned out better, and it was because I had kind of a different technique when I was applying it. Hey, Mr. Shredo. So, I cleaned off the backs of the foils with alcohol. So, I'm going to try to just, like stretch this over my thumb to aim it i don't know if this is actually going to be easier like i think it is like like this kind of and then just like this is going to be a good one yeah. 
And I can tell that that's the, the base and not the foil, because if I put, like, another piece of foil over it or something, it's not, you know, picking up. So if I can get a flawless adhesive application, I can get a flawless, well, a more flawless. The curve of my nail is still going to be a problem, but we're getting, like, we're getting, like, super full coverage here. Like... I want that on my nails. <laughs> so basically, like, you can't do laundry. Or do you mean just when you go in that area now when you try to do laundry? <laughs> That would be good. I, I have actually a pink, I'm not sure if it's hollow, nail art. Not the, not the fuchsia. Not like this one. Um. A little something like that. I mean, that's, this is a super pretty. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I just want to like do I want to do like everything I actually have two of those I could do like a contrast because I also have like a pure pink metallic do these go together they're kind of slightly different pinks like this one almost leans lavender more than pink and I feel like this would be super unforgiving because it's just like chrome reflective Mm. so what we are going to do is I mean I, th I think I want to do the gold on my nails I think I want to try wow it, you know, sometimes, though, like, I'll get those kind of notifications, and then it comes in, like, a week. I don't remember if this was one of those times, though. I really don't. I've had it for quite a while. I mean, almost everything here is hollow. I'd say e the pink is the weakest hollow. The pink and the purple. In fact, like the purple just barely qualifies and I don't think the pink qualifies. But the other four are hollow. But I think we're going with the gold. That was the initial plan. And that's what I want to really try and go with. Now I need to decide, do... Like, this is a fairly dark background, and I feel like at most, like, at this angle, I don't feel like the gaps are noticeable. If you get, like, right there, there you can see the couple gaps we have, and that is, like I said, due to the to the adhesive application. So should I go with a black base again, or should I go with a white base, or do you think a white base would be, like, super obvious? Oh, all these are good. This, by the way, this is going to have to happen at some point. Um... <laughs> um yeah mm. <laughs> yeah you may explode mm. I don't have a gold a gold uh, gel though I have black and white and I have uh, pink and purple <laughs> <laughs> you know i kind i kind of wonder you guys we're i'm not testing this today i'm just not but i do kind of want maybe i should test it like how gel is this 
Like, maybe I could just use this over a regular polish without waiting 80 years for it to dry. I'm sleepy. I don't want to test. But I kind of do, though. <laughs> oh, God. Like, part of me is just like, no, don't you, don't you do it, Colette. And the other parts, but, but what, but, but what, but, 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 so. I also have a couple other just like insane ideas. So like you guys, so you guys. Like, how awesome would it be? Actually, would I use that one or would I use one of this one? Or like this. I mean, I have like this kind of stuff too. But like to do like... I mean, pick, picture like, picture for me, if you can, if you will. Oh, look it, I got this too. I got the bright pink and this shattered color. Picture a mirror chrome base and then picture like some flourishes or something with this. Or, or like some flourishes with like, I don't know, like literally anything in here some flourishes with this God, this is really very very um or some flourishes with this i mean you know there's there's so many possibilities i, I need to look and see what i have in here i remember there's small squares inside this little envelope oh I this is kind of like a yellow or ye yellowier um in comparison to to this one gosh this one looks like champagne colored next to this I mean you thought it was gold before <laughs> you thought um what else is in here some metallic -y ones Ooh, and some hmm. <laughs> mm. get in there. Hey, music gal. <clears throat> Helmers! Helmers? That's only one reason, though. Helmers and, um... What were we talking about the other day? Silicone, uh, silicone placemats? Yeah, that silver's insane. I, I have another silver like that, I think. No, this is just like plain silver. Oh yeah. They're kind of different. It's kind of a brighter one. I also have a gold. I mean, we could even do like silver and gold. Was that a boy band song? We're we're having a, a I mean I think I know what I want but I just keep getting sidetracked you guys I don't know why I possibly would be getting sidetracked <laughs> but um cinnamon rolls oh you think to replace the other one with the uh, the damage of unknown origin. Don't don't know how that possibly happened. 
Um, oh, here. Man. I okay, so I really kind of do want to test it with regular polish, but I I don't I don't have the energy for it today. Same with the okay, if I had if I was down to do like a, a six hour nail stream, it probably might not take that long, but we would be doing chrome and then foil on top of the chrome. Cause that would be so freaking amazing. Maybe the chrome and foil could be my birthday manicure. A lot more cinnamon sugar and frosting. I got some at the store the other day that were pretty disappointing. Okay, so where's that other lid we had? Our lid of partially used... Like, I really should learn to just cut, like, super teeny tiny pieces. But I'd never learn. We'll put these on here. Try not to let them get blown around. I mean, it's... Whoa. Okay, that one ripped rip rip red strip um we're gonna we're gonna do this on my nails and given like the dark background of this and how at most angles you don't notice the gaps i think i'm gonna go ahead and go dark even though at some angles like it very much is very obvious like that i mean it, hopefully there's no gaps and it's just not a problem at all sushi I have mixed feelings on sushi. Not quite as mixed as my feelings on this peel off base coat. TBH. This corner too. I'm I'm pretty sure I'm gonna lose that pretty soon. It just is looking so frail and fragile. I almost feel like like I want to buff my nails so that there aren't any potential little spots for this base coat to grab, grab onto but on the other hand like I don't generally buff my nails that often maybe just a couple little spots where I see there are problem areas yeah the Madame Glam it stays on way better than ready for takeoff, particularly with gel polish, but it gave me a little attitude today and it peeled off a piece of my pinky and I wasn't too happy about it. And so now I'm like paranoid-ish, but I also don't want to use ready for takeoff under gel because it just performs really poorly. Like, you, like if I get a day out of it, I'm shocked and that's not, that's not cool. So, I hope my nails forgive me, but I'm going to do the Madame Glam again. I'm just going to try to make sure that there's not, like, any little... Because, like, especially on my right hand, I tend to have more problems with that sort of thing. Or, like, the peeling that there is on the corner of this nail. Stuff like that. I mean, that was an issue way before the peel-off. You guys know I've been complaining about that for weeks, at least, if not a month or so. Yes. Um, where'd it go? Where'd the other? This one. So, well, wait, no, not pigments. I tested it with, uh, like a Michaels size loose glitter, which is the copper. And I tested it with one of my Madame Glam glitters, which is the purple. Probably it would work for a pigment, but I mean, pigments already work with like no wipe. So, I guess it didn't really cross my mind, but I don't see why it wouldn't. Like, the this purple one buffed to almost, like, a pigment level of hollow. Um, it's it's very... It, it, I, I don't know what that means. It's very grabby. It's super, super grabby. If you apply it well, you'll get, you know... I mean, like, the purple, you can see that's, like, a flawless application, too. There's not any little... Uh, cracks or holes or divots in the adhesive polish um, and you get a really nice super smooth finish to it 
So I think that pigments would probably perform very similarly to that. I don't know if they would quite get to, you know, like if it's a chrome pigment, I don't know if you're quite going to hit that chrome like you would with a, uh, with a no wipe, but you might because, I mean, you'll see as I, as I get to it, if you stick around, um, or if you check out the VOD, like once it, once it's cured for the most part, it has like that very smooth finish like like a no wipe would so i mean it's really the smoothness of the finish that determines the smoothness of your chrome so might be worth looking into for that i if i had some out i would test it right now maybe when i am gonna do the chrome although i was thinking about that too i was like well how how exactly would that work like i don't know cross that bridge when i come to it i suppose but it's on my mind. All right. I think this is about ready to go. Not like the greatest, grandest condition my nails have ever been in, but you know. We'll just tuck this over here. All you guys are going to go back over here. Um... Wait, chainmail? Purple plaid? Oh, for the axe throwing. <laughs> I hope I hope that it's not going to be an event where chainmail is required. Hopefully. Like, if people just listen to the instructors and practice safety, I mean, not like I'm a pro or I've ever done it, but I mean, it seems like it should be safe enough. Like, you're not just, like, wildly, like, you know flinging axes around you just thunk kathunka okay before i do like any of my base cody type of stuff i do want to get um some of these cut out and i do think we want to go for the full burst and i don't think yeah i i almost wish it was positioned so that i could get like two out of each one but like this one that's only a half at the top is just not going to be able to be useful <clears throat> yeah this this is exactly the situation that would lead to me needing to repair a corner and I probably should bite the bullet and, and hurry up and get some repair stuff before I actually physically need it. Um, I mean, it's basically like half as thick as the rest of the nail because it, it peeled and I picked it off. <laughs> okay, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight... Nine, ten. All right. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. That's a lot of foil. Maybe I should instantly, before I even. Yeah, that's an excellent idea. We're going to cut off this whole other side here. Because we're. I'm looking to get this thing the main firework burst on my nail. So let's take this whole other, like, half a strip over here. And just already, like, instead of having, like, a whole bunch of small little pieces, let's just have, like, a long curly piece. I mean, we'll have some other scraps, too, but... Oh, oh come back here. Alright, so we'll just, we'll curl this little fellow back up into a little coil, if he'll cooperate! Um, save that for later. I'm trying to just like squeeze this in the middle here. Poink! Okay. Close this up. Mm. 
me get my other, let me get my scrap lid here. Because we're going to have a lot of little small scraps. So I think I'm going to want to like... Or should I just leave like a lot of hangover? I feel like the more there is, the more there is to crinkle, but I mean, it's going to crinkle if it's going to crinkle. And having extra hangover might make it easier to maneuver a little bit. Hmm. Yeah, maybe I should leave these full sized. Okay, never mind. We're not going to have scraps. Each of these is going to be a singular probably should have like a backup one but no we're gonna have success y'all we're gonna have flawless success and we're gonna clean all these off maybe it would have been easier before i did this but i kind of wanted to get them to where I'll need to handle them as little as possible to avoid recontaminating them with my hand oils. God, they're so pretty, even from the other side. And I still, you guys, still want to do something with just like the little ones. Yeah, I think I you I where did you can line them up pretty good. This was a test where half was cleaned with acetone and half was with alcohol. So you could see the little gap at the bottom, but at the top, like they're almost right next to each other and you kinda can't tell. It almost looks like one piece that was ripped instead of two pieces that were laid side by side. So I think you could get away with that, or even with something maybe do something like where each quarter or each half or each third of the nail was like a different color of the of the burst design because we've all we've also got red and blue and uh well this one's a little bit beat up but silver so you could do like each quarter a different bursty color and that actually in a lot of ways might be easier to apply than a full nail burst and still turn out looking very similar. Luke, your gift here is pink. Kind of a mauve color. That's weird. That's a weird color. I kind of like it, but it's a weird color. It's see, I think it's because it's it seems less intense. Like it seems like this would be the lower tier and the red would be the higher tier. Super super pointless and distracting. Hello and welcome also, by the way. But I, I said to Luke last night when I saw he had a red gift in Doc's channel that I wonder what color gift he would have here. For his recognition for gifting me a ridiculous amount of subs. Insect irritant. Wait a minute, what? Ooh. Okay, don't lean back quite that far. I, I have multiple fans here and we have very light nail foils. And when I lean back... Let's see if... <laughs> <laughs> so let's let's not lean back. We must protect we must protect the nail foils. <laughs> he stores the gift subs under his top hat. Alright. We're going to clean these off. Let's uh let's get a nap here. I loved your stream, by the way, yesterday, Moon, if I didn't already say that. It was, it was such, it was such fun. Very chill, very cool, and everything turned out so freaking cute. The 
with the virus. That sounds to me like uh, if you get bit by a mosquito, don't slap it and kill it. Let it suck on you and it'll suck its own whatever the fuck makes the mosquito bite back out and you won't get a, an itchy mosquito bite. Like, no. I'm not going to sit there and be like, oh, hello there, mosquito. Drink your fill, homie. No. Plus, like, that just sounds like a creepy device. Like, like, but, like, it, it also sounds, like, rich for memes. Like, that device, except, like, looking like fluke marm, like, <laughs> like, like, uh, top hat fluke coming to suck your mosquito venom out. I don't know. <laughs> and as soon as FFZ approves them, I'm gonna be on that shit. I'm gonna be... I think I might have to actually get rid of some or else like actually donate to FFZ, which would not be the end of the world. Okay, we might, can I, is, what if I go all the way out to here? Oh, now you guys can't see Benny at all. That's not acceptable. Whoa. I might, okay. I might have to, I might have to adjust my, my airflow here. Hold on just a second. I don't know if it's that one or this one. So let's angle that over. Hello. We'll angle that that way. And we'll angle this one that way. Alright. Might even be able to. Yeah. Hi. Hi, Bane. All right, this should be fine for for a little bit, for until we at least deal with these. <clears throat> Big ol' hickey. I I bet it is. Be no, Benny. Rip. <laughs> yeah, Luke. Oh no, I uh, actually, maybe I killed him before he bit me. I was gonna say I got a button while I was picking berries yesterday, but. Oh wait, now that I'm aware of it, it does kind of itch. Never mind, I did not mention getting bit by a mosquito. No, I didn't. Please, please redact from the record. <clears throat> okay, get a couple of cute tips here. <laughs> Alright, let's zoom out a little bit. <clears throat> wonder how the audio for the tutorial actually tr actually will turn out but we'll see um here we go <clears throat> before i get started on my manicure i've already got my foils cut out and i'm gonna go ahead and clean off the backs of them with a little bit of alcohol so i've just got a q-tip and i'm gonna swipe it over the back you can see it kind of brings out more of the hollow and I've found that it makes it easier for it to transfer. I had heard about this a lot, but this is the first time I'm trying it and I think it's going to be worthwhile. Yeah, I mean, some of these you can even see that second layer. Like on this one, the second layer seems like it comes off pretty easily. Um, part of that went off camera. Oh, well. Oh, well. Ooh, that actually stuck on my finger a little bit. And again, I'm getting just like the slightest of yellow residue-ish things going on. 
Oh, welcome back. Oh, oh, hi there. Oh, hi there, babe. All right. Yeah, I guess I, w I wasn't really going to do the second layer, but it's coming off so easily on all of them. Is the ca I should be looking at the camera. Is the cap camera actually picking up like the difference between like the first swipe and then like the second swipe? Oh yeah. Oops, get off of there. Mm. You guys, I have made a dumb. I've made a dumb, you guys. I, pro streamer that I am, I have forgotten to make room on my memory card. Hmm. Hmm. <laughs> oh, man. I'm such a pro. Didn't you know? <sighs> yeah, so I'll I'll see you guys shortly. I'll I'll see you guys shortly. God, that was a horrible frame to stop it on. Um, it's it's not frozen. It's unplugged. I don't I don't have enough. <laughs> I don't have enough USB ports, you guys. Um, yeah. So no more uh, face cam and hand cam is boring right now because i'm trying to hook up the computer to try and download some of these pictures or videos like just a couple of them so that i could please <laughs> record more things um yeah like never never feel bad moon just roll with it I'm looking i'm like i'm looking at the computer at the camera like you can see me i suppose i could like never feel bad moon bandit because we all just fuck up it's all just it's it's a constant state of learning and fucking up and learning more and fucking up more. So that's my oh now I can't see where it's pointed. Get out of here. There. Okay. Um. Let's uh. Let's select what I want to import here. Let me just make a little bit of room on here. Um. Okay, so... Oh, yeah, that took up a lot of room, actually. Actually, you know what? I could immediately just... I don't know which is which. I was going to say, I could just immediately delete the first half of last tutorial, but I don't know which is which. So, we'll finish cleaning these off while this is working. And hopefully by the time I'm done with this, it'll be mostly done uh, uploading so I can make room, delete them off the camera to record more things. Um, where'd, where'd chat? Whoa, oh my god. <laughs> it was so loud. Cares, hello. <laughs> I should, uh, maybe, let, let's do like, no, not like that. Like this. We, we're we having a, some slight technical problems, but it's not a huge deal, but it's just a thing. Um, 
Do I have... Are my mods... Are my mods here? Do I have... Luke's here. Yay, Luke. Thank you, Luke. For shouting out caters. Playing Dead by Daylight. Are you a, uh... A killer? Or what's the other one called? Caters. The ones that run away and get murdered. Or try to run away and not get murdered. We are we are currently cleaning off nail foils and downloading videos off my camera because my memory card is full. <laughs> and oh don't I don't know if that's okay. I guess it's okay. And uh yeah, we're we're gonna we're gonna get to some cool stuff hopefully very shortly. <laughs> um, but right now we are <laughs> we <laughs> the command never lies. But where did such a command come from, you might ask yourself, Moon? It was That was Luke also, by the way, who made the command. If you were wondering, I didn't even give you a chance to guess, but yeah, it was Luke. Like, that's why there should probably be a Kappa in the command. Like, just kidding, it's Moon Kappa. <laughs> a survivor okay that's what they're called too afraid but what do the killers have to be afraid of can the, the survivors can't really fight back can they they just got to be like all stealthy i'm trying to just make sure all these are like a similar level of cleanliness um so that we get similar adhesion results shall we say and i think they're looking pretty good and i'm also trying to make sure that none of these q-tips are leaving behind any weird residue or fuzzies or that sort of thing as that obviously could interfere um and be another thing that could i think lead to gaps and stuff but i think i think we're doing pretty good here that has like kind of a wrinkle in it this this will be fine though We'll, we'll save those for the right hand. <laughs> the mod with the best butt. Yeah, there is that. Mm. <laughs> Luke is so nice. Luke, are are you going to be doing uh, 212 this evening? I uh, Dang it, I went to smile at the camera again and the, sm and the camera's not there. I know you guys like Beanie better than me, though, even though he's not doing anything. We're at uh, 11 of 16. I'm almost, I'll almost have my USB port back and be able to plug my camera back in in just a minute here, you guys. <laughs> I feel, so first off, I forgot my camera downstairs, brought the camera up here, go to record, doesn't have any room to record, trying to upload it, don't have any USB ports available. Hmm. <laughs> Oh, people get... Yeah, I can see how that would not be, like, fun. <clears throat> Doc might be doing a 212. Oh, got a headache. That's no good. I hope you feel better. Dude, that would be such an awesome evening for me. Sit down with some, with some nachos and some Doc and Luke streams. The, o the only hard part is, do I do I do Doc and Luke, or Doc and Luke, or do Doc and Luke on this screen and work on the little screen, or put Doc and Luke on the little screen and actually work on the big screen? That never happens. Um, th these are the tough, tough decisions. These are my first world problems, you guys. Which monitor do I put which streamer on? Oh my god, like, it's super hard. Yeah, I mean, hydrate. That's that's my solution for most headaches. Also, like uh, glutenate. What is it like? Sugar gluten? No, not gluten. Glycemic, glyce glycemate. Don't don't let your blood sugar get low. Is what I'm trying to tell you. <laughs> I don't know. I don't know. Uh, but I like 
my mom jokes sometimes like if my dad gets crabby while they're out she's like he just needs a snack like a little kid <laughs> yeah yeah see i just can't i just can't pronounce it ninja but you know like that's one thing like i'm trying to be really careful right now it's hot out i have my air conditioning on i hope it doesn't sound too bad for you guys i uh i redid my uh my filters so it should be good for you okay good um let me just finish this real quick can i go here go here go here go here go here and then go here I don't let's just let's just do these what is this little symbol oh I only did okay I see I'm just trying to make sure, you guys, that I don't accidentally delete something that I have not uploaded to my computer. So. How many things do I have selected here? Okay, so this little symbol here means it's not transferred. None of these have that little symbol. We're deleting them and crossing our fingers. Okay. We're going to do that. Gonna do that. Gonna do that. We're gonna do that, and we're gonna do um. Mm -hmm. Yay! I did it. Um. Now we gotta remount the camera and continue along our merry way. <laughs> So, I apologize so much for uh, that brief interruption in our previously scheduled programming. Just goes to show, just when I think I'm organized, I'm 100% not organized. No, get out of here. These really look... I need to just take a picture of these real quick. They're so, like... Amazing, amazingly hollow. Okay, um, <laughs> caffeine. Some people, yes, definitely, especially if the calf, if it is like a caffeine headache, like a, or or maybe I should say a lack of caffeine headache. Like if you're used to, oops, don't do that. If you're used to having caffeine and you haven't haven't had enough caffeine. Why do I feel like this is sketchy? Okay. I think we're gonna do black. I think we're not gonna do Madame Glam. Uh, other than the base coat. And we'll see if it helps with the peel at all. Um, we'll see if we can get like a like a harder um, like a harder peely primer. Where's my other bottle of pink Chillac Ultra Shine? And the white. There is another. Bo okay, I said this before, you guys. There's a box of Christmas stuff that's unsorted. It hasn't gone back where it's supposed to go, and I don't know where it is. I literally looked in all of these, didn't I? Okay, let me just look in this one that's way down here. Because I have two I have two bottles of Pink Jalak Ultra Shine. One of them's all fucked up like this, and I know that this is the bottle that's almost empty. One of them is the proper bottle. Hey wait, is this it? Wait. Ooh. base <gasps> you guys it's like a treasure trove mm. Mm. 
Mm, ultra shine. Okay, but then where's the where's the white then? Is the white back there somewhere too? Are the silicone tools hiding underneath my monitor? I don't see them. I do see the red glitter though. So I bet the white is actually under there somewhere. God damn it, I'm messy. Or the white is right here and I'm blind. That's also an option. In fact, that's probably usually the right option. All right. Let's, wow. Okay. Beanie just doesn't even care. I could like, <laughs> can I, can I put things on top of here? <laughs> Raccoons purr like cats. Dogs are awesome and cats are awesome. I agree. That's why when I replace when I replace my my emotes, I'm still keeping Beanie and Clark. Um, I I think Cloth is gonna get moved to FFZ though, you guys. <clears throat> So I think we can put the we'll we'll set this over here just in case we need that alcohol again. Let's get out God, all these little slightly dingy, dirty Q tips. They look really gross. I mean, I guess I can see why that would hinder the adhesion of the foils. I mean, it's some kind of contaminatory film. Is that a word? Contaminatory? I, I like it. Boy, computer, you are pumping out quite a bit of heat. Okay. So, oh, here's the other little first initial peely, too, by the way. The, uh, the first, the first index nail that I lost the very first day, it started failing on the side over here. Kind of like that one I was showing you that lost its, that lost its foil. Um, it was just really weird. That was just quite, quite weird. All right. Um. Here we go. Ooh. Morphologically feasible. That's a good word. That's like a ten-point word. If if I had one of those bots that you could do creative shit with, I would I would have it let me add give people points for using good vocabulary words. Am I closer than I was? Did my camera crop weird when I reconnected it? Or is this okay? I'm just looking at it and for some reason it looks a little weird, but maybe it's just because my hair is kind of large today. <laughs> maybe maybe that. We'll say that's it. Because I'm not messing with it right now. I know that much. Alright, so we're going to start with uh, acetone prep as usual. I'm kind of almost tempted to, to skip this part. But I'm I'm kind of should I should I skip it on my other hand and see how see how peels work? If I was gonna only do one hand, I should have done the right hand with acetone and the left hand with no acetone, because the right hand, of course, is the more uh, workhorse hand. I think another thing that I'll do is to try and be heavy on the oil while I'm wearing them, and maybe that'll help when they finally want to come off. Or when I finally want to take them off, I guess I should say. Yes. When you say it, I do, but I didn't enough to, like, associate a morpheme with morphologically, just because, like, they're the same, but they're different. I can English good. <laughs> Yeah, I feel like it's like camera. Ooh. Thing is, it's not, or maybe you know. Let me just check that. Maybe that's it. Did it change? It did just a little bit, didn't it? 
Like, I didn't, I couldn't see when I actually just did that, but, okay, or it's all in my head and I'm going crazy. It's because you're taking so much of your energy to not just, like, let the anger spew forth that you can no longer put the energy toward, like, dumbing yourself down for them. <clears throat> or at least that would be my... Uh, supposition. Big word. Points. Points for Clit! <laughs> <clears throat> Starting off with clean, dry nails, we're going to begin with a base coat. Today I'm using Madame Glam's peel-off base coat, and you can use whichever you prefer. And I am again going to try to like very mindfully do a thick coat. I mean, I was trying to be mindful of it last time, but maybe I can do an even an even better job of giving this a nice thick thick plump coat. Cloat, a cloat of polish. So you guys, Would would you be sad if cloth went to FFZ and you couldn't use her in other channels? I mean, mostly she's just used here. And if she's in FFZ, like some of the channels where you like to use her, may just choose to add her to their FFZ list. But I'm thinking of like kind of making my my most of my emotes more um What's the word? Uh oh. Struggling to find the word. You get a demerit. Um like more consistent. And so I was thinking I would keep Beanie and Clark because I almost even am considering moving Beanie and Clark. But I kinda wanna keep them. Plus if I kept if I kept the tier one Beanie and Clark, then it would be like an even five emotes that I need <clears throat> yeah no I mean cause, cause they won't I mean they'll be like pictures when all the rest of my emotes are gonna be drawn by you moon um I don't know like, I think it looks really nice when you look at a streamer's emotes and they have some consistency to them. Like, they're all, like, the same character and you can kind of tell they've been done by the same artist and they are really consistent. But I guess it's also not uncommon for streamers to have, like, a couple one-offs or inside jokes in there as emotes. Yeah, I don't know. I'm just, and there's, like, I've got, like, so many, so many ideas, like, narrowing it down to just, like, which, which ones I want to move forward with right now. It's like, oh, I'm so bad at, like, deciding. I've, I've narrowed it down, though. I've narrowed it down. I've got, like, my, my top contenders. And I just want to want to let want to let it sit in my head for a while and let it marinate and see if I still agree with myself in a day or so, you know? You ever do that like I think I've decided, but let's see if I agree with myself later. There's a hair in there. A beanie hair, I'm sure. Mm. Thanks, Beanie, for sharing your fur with me. <laughs> Get this last nail done and then we'll let this dry well. <clears throat> this is, Luke, this is true. 
This is true. Yeah, Bean Bean Thug is probably gonna go to FFZ, and so is uh, G Bean. Um, one of one of the ones I'm pretty sure of, uh, G Bean is gonna be replaced by a a gold polish person. Maybe maybe we'll call her Polly, on the lines along the lines of Cuppy, and and have it be like an adorable. An adorable gold, like like Bach awe, except like with sparkles and it's all gold and shiny. I'm I'm gonna be so prepared, Moon. I'm gonna send I'm gonna send you my list, and I'm gonna have references. Other than the inspiration that you already know, Moon Moon has already provided me with a sketch. You guys, some of you were here, or did you did you message that to me? I I want to say you posted it in chat. The last time I started, I started musing about this and thinking about it live on stream and Moon provided me with a, with a pog sketch and it's adorable. Yeah. Oh, I've still got it. I know I still have it. I bookmarked the fuck out of that and I think I actually, in my, in my infinite tabs, in my infinite tabs, and this is a top contender, and it wasn't even the thing that I was con- that I was considering originally. And Moon was like, "Hey, look at this." Yeah, the gold one. I want to be adorable, like Bach awe, and with like uh, like these kind of like chunky, chunky thick sparkles, and then just be like all gold. Like an adorable gold, not a, like Dr. Crotron's gold is like smug gold. Like, yeah, I did that. But yeah, like a, like just a a real nice, a a real nice adorable gold. And then with some chunky sparkles. Cause I mean, cause there's lots of way to do sparkles and imply like shimmering, shining gold. But that, that's what I have in my head. And, uh, I, I kind of want one that's like, like the crow all with like little heart eyes, like, and uh I I was thinking that like it would be very useful like when we're doing nail art to have like one for when things are going really good and one for when things are going really bad. So I was thinking we might actually do like a gasm one and then like a rage one. These are less fleshed out. I got notes, y'all. Like notes of like different ones I'm thinking and like, well which tier would this one go in? I don't know which one I would stick in tier two. Cause I don't want it to just be like a throwaway one, but I don't want it to be like too good of a one that like everybody would want to use. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Kind of like ruined and stay and saved. So if we, you know, like, or just, you know, like, Hey man, this, this would be a time for, for the polish gasm emo or like, uh, when they just wouldn't stick the other day, that would have been time for some rage spam. Hmm. Maybe not always, but sometimes. Does it have arms in this? It kind of doesn't, because it's like a, it's like a, it's cropped at like the polish's neck. <laughs> like I like that aspect. Like it, like that's the polish's head, but like just below that, I mean, it would still be the polish bottle, but it would be like you know arms and shoulders and stuff. But most cases i don't know that i would necessarily need or want to have arms showing unless i did like a snack one because i was like well what snack could i have and then i was like i could just get one where it looks like there's stuff in their face like you know you i, I can't like really because my nails are wet but you know like just like a face stuff in hand, both hands to your face face stuff i've got so many notes moon i don't I don't want to get you thinking too far in the wrong direction. The gold one, I'm pretty for sure about. I really like the pog one. I'm pretty sure about all. The gasm and the rage are kind of like some of the ones that are like, but well, what about this? Like, what about look at the, the little polished bottle with the little knife? Get a little MSLP stab. Like, your little stabby grub moon is so good. But then, too, it's like, well, there's going to be the stabby grub, and of course I'm going to put that on my FFZ, so do I also actually need a stabby polish bottle? <clears throat> That's fine, Luke. 
I know at least one of your ideas, and I so support that. What do you take non emote commissions, Moon? You must. You must. <laughs> Have a little pause for coming at you like. <laughs> yeah. See? Turn that frown upside down, Luke. All right, is this, are we dry? Yeah, this, I feel like this is harder to tell when it's dry than ready for takeoff. Um, ready for takeoff almost gets, and I think I've said this before, not exactly matte, but like considerably less shiny. Um, and this is kind of still quite shiny, but tap test shows. Um, I think I am, like I said, going to go with the pink jellac. That means that we might probably be having to do two coats of the black because this is a more watery black. Um, but hopefully we'll be okay. <clears throat> Okie dokie. And how much, how much room did I clear myself here on my camera? Um, can I, what do I have to, no, not there. Can't, what? Mm, menu? No. It'll show me here. It won't show me there. Well, we'll just see. I cleared off a good amount of space. <clears throat> What's this beautiful black? For my base color, I'm going to be using Pink Jalac Beautiful Black. And this is a gel polish, so I'll be curing in between coats. And once I've got that applied, I'm going to be applying my Miss Cheering Foil Adhesive. And also curing that. That was so bad. <clears throat> Let's try that again. Do you guys want to be closer? Probably? A little bit? <clears throat> For my base color today, I'm going to be using Pink Jalac, Beautiful Black. I'm going to be curing in between each coat, so I'll probably need about two. And once I have those applied, I'm going to be applying a coat of my Miss Cheering Gel Nail Foil Adhesive, which also needs a cure. Blah, 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 blah. What I feel like sometimes, honestly. <laughs> Oh, do you Amethyst? I had never heard of the brand before. Like I said, it's kind of, you know what? It's kind of janky. There were literally no instructions unless the instructions were behind the QR code, which I could not for some reason scan. Some reason being that it was like too light and pasty. Maybe pasty is not the right word. Like faded. All right. Using all of our nail polish application skills for neat gel polish application. And one thing I do think I'm going to do, like I'm being very careful around the sides. I am going to wrap the tip with the black. I'm going to try and remember not to wrap the tip with the gel adhesive or the foil adhesive. Because I feel like I, I'm really going to try and make sure to seal in the foil. You know, I don't want another one where I'm, like, losing a nail the same evening I put it on because I didn't, like, fully seal it. And I feel like the, I got lucky on the tips last time that I didn't have a problem there with it, uh, letting in water or something. All right, again, this is, like, a less opaque black, so we are going to need two coats. It looks pretty good on camera. I'll give you I'll give you a slightly closer look once I finish. What was that? There's like polishes settling in there. And again, if you see any little bubbles or anything, just try to get everything nice and smooth before you go under the lamp. And this goes under for 60 seconds. Mm. 
No. <laughs> Oh. <sighs> I'm I'm getting closer to applying these you guys and I'm getting nervous. Like what if my plan doesn't work? Like what I found was like when I was doing my right hand, I was getting really good like surprisingly good adhes adhesion when I was when I like switched my technique to like kind of almost wrap the foil around my thumb and then like press with my thumb onto the nail i hope so doc thank you thank you for having faith we'll see we're, we're gonna see in like probably like five minutes we'll, we'll apply our second coat here and cure it and then we'll apply a coat of the adhesive and then it's like time to see the thing and again like watch your bubbles and stuff because that can all like of course the top coat and stuff is always going to be like where it smooths out and in this case the adhesive but having a smooth surface to work with in the first place is always going to help you out can i wrap this tip here okay and we're working the four nails at a time because of my lamp size um if you have a lamp that fits your whole hand and cures your whole hand well if you have uh some lights on the side to accommodate the fact that when you lay your hand in there your thumb is not facing the same direction as your other nails go for it Oh no, Amethyst. I had that the other day. Always like in the same place too, like right here. Lower, like lower left lip. I almost called it a lid. My lower left lip lid. 19 minutes. Okay. Okay, keep that in mind. I just gotta catch it while it's like flashing up there briefly. I turned it off when we were, you know, using it for trying to stream. And I guess I never turned it back on, so it only shows, like, briefly in intervals, and I don't know how to make it pop up. I should just figure out how to turn it fully back on. Now that we have the lovely Brio. Okay. Let's close this. And we were talking before about how, like, blacks and whites can be tougher to cure. I mean, I feel like this is cured. It's gotten an, an, an what do you call them? Inhibition layer or whatever. But, I don't know. When I feel like gel polish isn't cured, I feel like it has a stronger smell and this one doesn't. So, we're just going to cross our fingers and move right the fuck along. So... camera please all right thin but even and the thin is important because we had some impressive heat spikes with this. 
so I would not want to go thick and have that be any worse. Okay. And I'm just like super on the lookout for air bubbles and shit. And there might be some little strips at the side that don't get it. That's fine if it helps me to keep from overflowing it and be able to fully encapsulate it with top coat like like I'm trying to get pretty close to the edge but if I don't it's it's okay see just a little bit of weirdness there and I see another beanie here right here Okay, so making sure it's smooth, making sure there's no bubbles. Looking at sometimes I'll just look like when it's hard to tell, I'll just look at how like the light reflects. And see if I catch any weird, super weird shapes or bubbles. But they're pretty good. So we're going to go... Are we going to get a heat spike? Mmm. A little bit of heat. Nowhere, nowhere near what it was last time. So I'm going to say either that was the interaction between it and the Madame Glam. Or the fact that I only had one coat of the black under it last time and so it was closer to my nail bed or I got a better thinner coat this time I, I don't know Ash hello I missed I missed like everybody saying hi to you but I see you I see you hello oh please be ASMR -y. today we're going to be working with nail foils Oh, where's... I should have grabbed a little piece to... Today we're going to be working with nail foils. <laughs> how's, how's that for you, Doc? What is this? I don't want to update you now. Update later. <clears throat> Yeah, take a, yeah, exa I was just going to say, take a nap so that you're all ready to stream the 212%-ness. Yeah, it was, I could, I could definitely feel it, but it wasn't like last time where it was like, even if I hadn't known that's what you're supposed to do when it gets hot, like, it was not bearable. Um, so yeah, heat spike was not too bad. <laughs> Two ASMR, okay, okay. Oh, have fun. I, maybe I'm weird. I think you guys probably can relate. I think Ikea is a ton of fun. So have fun, Music Gal. I, I always just love wandering around in there. It's great. It's great. If you can stay like 10 more seconds, you'll get to see the first application too. <clears throat> Hold on a minute here, actually. Let me uh, unsticky these because they're kind of there no don't don't go that way i just want you unstuck like that so we can hopefully easily grab it <clears throat> okay <clears throat> Once the adhesive is cured, I'm going to go ahead and grab one of my foil strips and I'm going to try and kind of aim with my thumb. I'm going to use my thumb to apply the strip and aim the burst right for the center of my nail 
try to apply it with as even a pressure as I can manage. And then I've got a little tool that I'll also be using to help myself. So hopefully this is where I want it to be. And I'm going to press it down with my thumb. And then with this little kind of plastic rubbery cuticle pusher thing, I'm going to go in and continue to press down around all the edges pretty firmly trying to keep it as seamless as possible. You'll start to kind of feel and see it lifting up, uh, it being the plastic topping. And once you're fairly sure you've got all those edges, you can go ahead and peel. What the hell? Why didn't it stick over there at all? Why didn't it stick over there at all? Why didn't it stick over there at all? Can I line this up here? I mean, is it the foil or is it the... Is it the adhesive? I'm trying to... Because Amethyst, it was supposed to prevent this from happening. God damn it. Okay, let me see if this will work. Well, let's stop recording number one. Can I remove you with alcohol? Okay, I can. I feel like maybe as careful as I was trying to be, I had bad adhesive application. This is what we should have done yesterday, by the way. This like came into my head and I remembered that this was a thing. Well, we're going to have to cut another one out. I'm not giving up. I'm just going to try again. Oh, I can't. Well, are you going to get shiny again as you dry? So I'll, say I'll just wait to redo you. That might not be an option because it's too obviously. Yeah, it's too obviously. Dull. You made that foil? Yeah. Yeah. Maybe a little, a little polish bottle holding on and weeping over a flower. <laughs> That'd be great. Like, I honestly just don't understand. Was, was, I mean, like, was it, like, not properly cured? Was it not properly coated? Was it not, like, what? Oh. Hey, Barbie. I'm, man, yes. We're gonna try again, though. We're gonna try again. How do stamper heads work? Is that a thing? Is that a thing that I should be doing? I don't want to do it on this one. I want to finish doing this one like I was planning to do it. For this, this hand. Did I? I got a little bit of fuzz on here. 
I'm gonna put this one on my index now. <clears throat> we'll we'll see how this goes. We we may be changing our plan again, y'all. I mean, the thing is, if you get it adhered right, it should almost just fall off. <clears throat> Once you've cured your adhesive, you can go ahead and apply the foil. I'm going to go ahead and kind of grab it on my thumb, use my thumb to aim, and hopefully try to center it on my nail. And then once I've got it applied, I'm going to finish pressing it onto the nail. I hate this placement. What am I doing? What am I doing with my life, you guys? Failure upon failure. This placement is horrific, but I feel like the adhesion is good. Mostly. I don't know, you guys. I, I just don't even know. Is it the foil or is it the adhesive? That was the foil. Cause see, now I covered it up. Okay, we're trying that one again, too. I'm actually going to need some more damn alcohol shit you guys this sucks this is supposed to work better <sighs> i mean it's way better than the pinky but something happened there something other than what I wanted happened there. Hmm. Press 1, 4, try it again this way. Press 2, 4, try it with a stamper. Where did that other clean key tip go? Yeah, that's why this was supposed to be fantastic, Barbie. Everybody's saying too. Aren't you guys? Let's uh re re up this one. I hope I didn't curse too much when that happened. That wouldn't have been very ASMR -y for Doc Snap. I'm just like annoyed. Oh, Stamper's magic. Doc's not na Doc's not napping yet. Doc also agrees with trying the Stamper. All right. I mean. You can kind of press it on there, but it's going to have that same dimpling problem. And then, of course, I mean, we're pressing this side onto the nail. It's hard to see in there. Should I get the other stamper? I should. I'll do that as soon as my nail finishes caring. They're both dirty. I thought this one was a little bit larger and might be better, but I forgot that it's so dark it doesn't photograph well.
Yellow stopper's here, but we didn't have very much luck with using that for foils, dog. Hey, LJ. We are... I mean... <laughs> I'm, I'm frustrated. No. I'm frustrated. TBH. Um, okay. This this stamper still has rainbow stamping on it. So I'm just trying to Oh, oh don't don't fall on the floor. Oh no, where did you go? I don't want to roll over with my chair. Oh my god, you guys. Did it go into the footrest? I've dropped my stamper head and I don't know where it went. I swear to god, can I have any worse luck today? Is it under here? Where'd it go? You guys, seriously. I mean, it's clear, but it's not invisible. What? What? Ah, all the way over here. Are you damaged? I hope not. You're super full of fur, though. Oh, uh, um, I don't think so, Mrs. Shredo. I did a test of one. Where'd it go? Where half of it was cleaned extra, and half of it was just like swiped once. And they seemed like the same. I'm using a, a gel foil adhesive Barbie. Cause foil glue, cause foil glue is evil. All right. All right. You, you survived your, your trip across the room. <laughs> All right. So let's just let's take this one. Let's just That's not quite where I wanted you. Just like right here. We'll just smooth it on. And then see this one's a lot easier to see in the inside. Okay. <sighs> camera please <clears throat> focus please camera which way do I want to this way <clears throat> once I have applied the or <clears throat> once the foil glue is cured you can go ahead and apply the I don't even know what I want to say. Like, I don't know how to explain what I'm about to do with the stamper because I've never actually done it before. <laughs> yeah, I mean, we got a good transfer. Where'd the test go? We got an awesome transfer. Just not on my nails. <clears throat> Once the adhesive has been cured, you can apply your foils. Today I'm trying uh, using a stamper to help out. I've got the foil stuck on there with, of course, the good side facing up. I'm going to use that to kind of line up on my nail. Go ahead and stamp it on. And then I'm going to use this little kind of rubbery plastic cuticle tool to finish pressing it down, especially around the edges. And as you'll do that, you'll see there comes a point where the plastic top kind of starts to peel back. 
and that's when you know that it's ready to be removed. So just use a pretty firm pressure, apply it all around, especially at the edges, and then go ahead and literally fuck you guys! What am I doing so wrong? You saw me press it there. You saw me press it there. Maybe I should go back to using Q-tip. Maybe it's this thing. Maybe it's that thing is the whole entire fucking culprit. I thought that thing would be good, but maybe it's not. The silicone tools obviously would be best, but they're lost forever, apparently. Mm. Yeah, I can't do that with a full piece, though, Dino. <laughs> the live stream is the blooper reel, Moon Bandit. Yeah, but we did tests yesterday over a long period of time. It stays sticky. It stays sticky. Plus, the pinky was right after curing. The pinky was, like, immediately after curing, and that was one of the best... <laughs> you obscenity on my behalf, Doc? You know what? I think I've been... I want to redo this one, too. I feel like I've accidentally been touching it. So let's just... Let's just redo both of these. Oh. <sighs> Yeah, I did rip that one off fast, Barbie. I mean, the ripping doesn't seem to make any difference. It's all in how you, like, how you press it down. That's far too thick. I'm not. I'm not trying to be super mad at this, but I'm kind of irritated with it. TBH. All right. Did I just? No, I didn't. Yeah, I mean, you'll see. I'll do. I'll do it on my ring finger this time. But I would say when we were doing the tests yesterday, I think it was like this row of tests. I mean, we did these all at the same time and then we did them like there was quite a while in between adhering and this wasn't even with alcohol cleaned ones and they were still sticking pretty good. The blue and the red were doing really good. I mean, we even got the blue and the red to work properly on my nails. So... Mm. Let's see here. What charms am I? Yeah, I need I need quick dry and super adhesion charms, Dr. Crotron, ASAP. Alright. And I've got multiple minutes of fails going here. In fact, actually, I might want to... Hold on a second here, guys. Um... I think I want to erase this one, too. Hmm...
So hold on, I'm just trying to we're we're using we're memory card managementing today, you guys. So that would be the first coat. That would be the second coat. This would be the adhesion coat. This one can be deleted. And this one can be deleted. I hope I'm erasing the right things here. And this one can be deleted. All right. <clears throat> you guys, I'm nervous. <clears throat> All right. Once the adhesive is cured, you can go ahead and apply your pre-cut foils. I'm going to try and just line mine up, hopefully, so that the burst is toward the middle of the nail. I just realized what I did, because I just did it there. I just touched it with my thumb, or with the side of my finger as I was trying to... Okay, okay, we'll do it on a different nail and see if that one actually is horrible in a minute. I, I think that might be part of the problem. Maybe. I also think maybe I'm touching it too much, but I don't know how to avoid that. Maybe I'll try one of the ones that I haven't touched as much, like this one up here. Hey, orange juice. Alright. <clears throat> oh, this is the one with a line in it, though. I don't want that one. Let's take this one. Once your adhesive has cured, you can go ahead and apply your foils. I'm going to try and kind of line up and stick mine on with my thumb. Give it a good firm press. And then go in and finish buffing it down with a Q-tip, paying special attention around the edges and at the tip of my nail. This looks really good. This looks really good. Oh my god, please be really good. Please be really good. <gasps> you guys, is this the one? You see how it's coming up around the edges already? Yeah! Oh, yeah! <laughs> Whoa, everything's shaking. I'm so happy! Hmm. If you have any small areas where the foil didn't stick, you can go ahead and give it another little press and try to fill in any blank spots. And then go ahead and repeat that for all your nails. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Woo! All right. I'm 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 kind of worried about my ring finger here because I think I touched it and I'm not sure how much stickiness I uh, made unsticky. But we'll see in a minute here. We'll, we'll see. And if I need to edit it out, then we'll have two hopefully good ones. Yeah, you can... You guys, can you see, like, as I go to the side there, how it's already lifting, like, here... Oh, oh, we did it, you guys! Oh, oh I love it. So good. Just a little bit. All right. Okay. Yeah, this is why we really want to find the silicone tools, you guys.
this is why we really want to find the silicone tools. Ooh, it's still sticky enough. <gasps> now, see, we did actually do two changes here. First change is like the al the alcohol prep, and the second change is initial application, like as a thumbprint, because I did a little bit of that last time, but with the more scattered design. I mean, I liked the results. It likes it. It sticks it down more where you want it, so then you can really work on the other more wrinkly sections with the Q-tip. Oh, you guys, we did it! This is such a win! Oh, I love it so much. I'm so happy. I was so sad, and now I'm so happy. I was so sad, and now I'm so happy. <laughs> oh, boy. I mean, for real, for real, you guys for real for real and now here this is the one that we firstly redid a little while ago let's see if it gives us problems i don't think it's going to firstly redid that's some that's some good there english for you yeah I'll really try to give you guys a look like, can you, there, see how it's already coming up there at the edge? You can see the paper towel and stuff back here. Um, that's kind of what you want to see. It's like already lifting and then like you, you're not ripping it up. You're just removing the plastic that's like already lifted because you've just buffed it that well. Um... I feel like that's the goal. <sighs> <laughs> I mean, there's some little, okay, there, there's some little tiny problems at the tips. Who cares? Who's looking at that? <laughs> it is, I, I'm wondering, let's, let's try, let's get some real direct... This is also, so this is also a problem with me not wrapping the tips because I didn't want, like we were talking about with the, with the water penetration and little problems like that. I didn't want to wrap the tips, but then you don't have as much like at the tips to really, let's just spend some time buffing if there are some areas where we can get it to stick. Yeah, that's fine that that's minor i mean there's a part of me that's like oh my god you have a little black gap on the tip of your nail clip but like for real y'all who cares we need to cut a couple more pieces of foil um because we ruined a couple y'all 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 this camera can't even handle it can this camera handle it nope None of the other cameras can handle it. Where's the, uh... Can I... Mm. I wish I could get a little bit more... No. I hate this flashlight. I thought I was really gonna... Whoa, sorry. I thought I was really gonna like this flashlight. It's too powerful. I need to get a slightly less powerful flashlight for uh for on stream yeah so anyway like blah, 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 blah. um barbie was it you or somebody asked about if it gets like slightly less tacky like if it's been sitting there I, I mean eventually i'm sure but over the course of however long that was not not noticeably much um scissors are over here Hey, heels for head, H heels for hugs. No, top coat will not fuck it up because we are using gel top coat. Um, otherwise, yes, top coat would fuck it up and we'd all be sad all over again. Top coat will, uh, hello, scissors, can you please? Okay, sorry, you guys. 
Oh wait, this actually is the silver. Fuck. I thought it was the back side of the gold. Where's the gold? Where did I where did I put the gold, you guys? Did I put it away? That was dumb. You you want to know what was dumb? Actually, not cutting at least two backups like I usually do. Uh-oh. Okay, it has to be here on my desk. Literally, where is it? You know what? I don't know where it is, but... I have another... I have another roll of it. It has to be... A, okay, my desk is such a disaster that I cannot locate the jar that we literally had half an hour ago. Nor the blue. The silver is here, and the red is here. I do not know where the gold and the blue went. Um, can I get away? I can get away with this, right? Like, one of those little small ones can just be a pinky one, I think. And then we'll use the other full-sized one. This... <laughs> Yeah. Yeah, and the thing with water based top coats is like they might not fuck up the, the 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 foil, but I would end up fucking something up because I'm impatient. So at certain angles this is kind of hard to see. Um Where's where's my pointer? This half is covered with sesh vite and you can kind of just see how it's like, you can still see the pattern at certain angles, but compared to the untop coated half, it's just... It goes weird and dull, like that. And, uh, like, when I look at it closely, it actually is, like, cracked and crinkled. Honestly, this particular pattern doesn't seem to get as ruined as certain others, but, I mean, when you look at them right next to it like that, it's obvious, like, well, which one would you really want on your nails? You want the one that's, like, fabulous. So. Um. Where do I want to cut this? Let's. Let's cut this off here. That can go. Over there. And let's cut this one right here. And this little small one will be a pinky one. And then let's clean these with alcohol. You can see here the difference between these ones that have already been cleaned and these ones that are kind of... that I just got out. Or that I just cut out, I guess I should say. So we're just going to, with a little bit of alcohol, clean them off. And I do, I do believe that the success we're having today is a combination of um, better better application technique and also this alcohol cleansing. Okay, so this is interesting. This is my other royal roll of the gold foil, and it's being much more stubborn about that second layer coming off. Like, I can't just get it off. So they're cleaned, but they're not as cleaned as these ones, which you see are practically like... It, I, I, it, with the different angles, it's really kind of hard to tell on camera, but... See the difference between this one and this one? Oops, oops, no, get back on there. I'm trying to, trying to show people. Like, this one still has somewhat little bit of a film, but it's cleaned, but this one is like double cleaned. So we'll get to see again whether double cleaning actually makes a difference when we uh, move on to our other hand here. Oh my god, I found it. I found it. It's right here. Well, it's, it's gold. See in there? We used it so much it's on the inside. That's why the silver confused me. But then you see there's like actually the silver. Okay, ne never mind. Let's um let's top coat this hand just because foils um are delicate as you saw 
the I messed up several times, anybody that's just joining us, and you can, with foils, you can actually remove them with alcohol. So that's what we did, and we, like, gave it another try. But let's protect these before we do anything else. No, we used silver last time, Dino. Did you see... Were you here? When did you get here? Did you get to see the Peelies? We did a red, white, and... Red, white, and blue. Red, uh, red, silver, and blue last time. We were gonna do this in red, white, and blue, and we couldn't get them to transfer properly, so it turned into... Um... Like, here's one of the Peelies. So it turned into, like, more of an abstract red, white, and blue foil. It was really, it was really sweet. It was really a good one. Um, but no, that's why we're not using silver again. And we're running out of battery, but I'm going to try and do this right now. <clears throat> Camera said no good. Okay. My other battery is in my other camera. Because why would shit ever be easy? Well, I suppose I could have been smart and taken it out of here before I started streaming. This is my traveling camera because it has 25 times optical zoom. Unlike the big tutorial boy, which only has like four, t four, four something zoom. But they have the same battery, so they share. Um, okay. Let's get this down. So I can change the battery. Yes, if, if you're getting aroused by all the hollow, to my understanding, that just means that you are a hollow sexual. And you are in good company with many of us here, in particular Dino. Dino is kind of like our resident... Um, I don't know, what are there like levels of hollow sexuality? Because if so, then I think Dino is at the at the highest level because she always wants me to put something hollow on it. Mm. Yeah, it it turned out I I was really it was one of those things that kind of frustrated me because I wanted this I was gonna do uh red silver blue red silver so that there was like red and blue and then silver and then like, it was gonna be cute it was gonna be you know Fourth of July and then I just shit my my support got loose there the red and blue transferred okay um and then the silver was just not cooperating and that's what kind of led to the more experiments with the uh using the alcohol to clean it off because i was looking for a way to get some of the more stubborn ones to transfer better um We'll need to charge this later. We'll just put it all down here. Beanie, you are the guardian of all the things today. Um, yeah. So, the backup plan was, okay, we're still using foils. We can't get this this clear, clean transfer where you can see the fireworks-ish design. I mean, that's... There's lots of ways you could describe this design. It's It's 4th of July, so to me it was fireworks. And I was like, well... We'll just go ahead and, and do it patchy in these same colors and, and call it a day. I was I was very much raging in that stream. Mm. Yeah, I mean, this is hollow. You're, there, you can see some of the color. I was trying to hit it with the flashlight. Flashlight wasn't cooperating. I did a polish and motion for the other ones that turned out not very impressive. I'm thinking that these might be a better candidate. Um, But we'll see. So let's uh, get the top coat on here. <clears throat> Once you've applied all of your foil, you can go ahead and finish with a top coat. I'm using Pink Chillac Ultra Shine, and then I'll be curing that as well. Because it's gel. And again, like, seal... You, all the edges you don't want water touching this shit at all it'll get weird it'll get gnarly so i'm like wrapping the sidewalls wrapping the tips and just trying really hard to go all the way to the edge i 
I feel like... The pink gelac actually is dulling it a bit. Is this my imagination? It's not. Can you guys see that? You guys... It doesn't look like it's picking up as much on camera. We'll see how it looks after I cure it. Like, just very slightly. I mean, you can still see the pattern and everything. You guys! Can you see what I'm saying? I'm kind of irritated all over again now. I'm, I'm, I'm... <sighs> Gel top coat is not supposed to affect foils. Um, it depends. I mean, I don't usually go for long wear, and I'm, I'm using a peel-off base coat with this. So, I mean, this, on the long end, probably won't make it past Thursday, just because I'll want to change my nails by then. I, when I use gel, it's usually for a reason like this, not necessarily for the longevity. 60. I'm... I'm not pleased that that's slightly crinkled. Like, not like really crinkled, but like slightly crinkled. Let's do a test here. Maybe pink chillac on this side. And uh, Madame Glam on this other side. Yeah, if if I use ready for takeoff, they won't last more than a day. Uh, the peel off that I'm using right now is actually from Madame Glam. Oops, they're touching. I don't know if that's okay. I mean. If you didn't know, you probably wouldn't know. But you guys know. I'm going to I'm going to do Okay, so here's what I'm going to do. I'm going to stick this in here first just to finish my test. We're going to finish our manicure. Uh, it's not it hasn't ruined the finish. It hasn't lost the pattern. It doesn't suck. It's just not quite as good as it was. And that's moderately irritating. The more I look at it, the more it's cracking. You guys. You guys. You guys. You see that little crack there? That's almost like too much, too much zoom, isn't it? But like, it's like so shiny, it's almost hard to see, but there's like... I'm accepting this. I'm not thrilled with it. And here you can't really do the tell the difference. I'm, okay, so here's what we're gonna do. I never finished what I was what I was talking about. Um, I'm gonna I'm gonna finish the rest of it like this. I still like it. It's not horrible. It's not the end of the world. It's still hollow. It's still a burst. On one of my thumbs, I'm gonna test the Madame Glam, or maybe both of my thumbs actually, because they'll be in there at the same time. 
With the thumbs, I might top it with Madame Glam and see if that is as bad or if it's better. Cause like I it I didn't feel like it did it before, but we were working with um the much more random design, so I don't know if it would have been as noticeable. Do you know what I mean? I am though, so moderate. I mean, this is not a huge problem. I mean, let's let's put this in perspective, everyone, or or everyone being me actually, unlike pep talk and myself. This is not like the hugest problem in the world. The biggest win that we got today was getting like a full nail of a foil design fairly well. Like I th I feel like that's something that a lot of people struggle with. Like you can use foils and you can get a good adhesion, but if you actually have like a patterned foil that you want the pattern to stay recognizable on your nail, I feel like that's a challenge. So I I won at that and this fucking top coat can't take that away from me. So there and this is also like where I, I kind of struggle and wonder like, man, so I don't like this about Madame Glam. I don't like this about Pink Jalak. Like, I don't particularly want to like invest in gel polish, but I almost feel like, man, maybe, you know, what what is the actual good brand gel polish that like is is all the best things? And that, that's another thing too, Emmy. Um, this adhesive, it's great. It's weird. Um, one of the things I said about the other peelies that I just took off was that they were strangely soft for being gel peelies. And I really don't know, like, what is up with this, 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 uh, gel adhesive because it's not got a lot of directions or instructions or any information included with it but I, don't, I just i don't know another thing too is like we were talking about and i'm trying to be careful and make sure that they're getting like good exposure in there for the full amount of time not like push the button and then put my hand in like my hand is already in there when i push the button um oh beanie's got a little blep right now it's pretty cute um we were talking before about how apparently, for whatever fucking reason, I don't know, blacks and whites are more difficult to cure than color gel polishes. So if part of the problem is that my base gel color is not completely properly cured, ooh, that was kind of, let's kind of even that out. Um, you know, that's a separate problem. There's, I mean, there's so many factors. This is, this is what makes nail art a challenge. Because it's like, if you run into a problem, there are so many little things that could be contributing to it. But, overall, I, th the thing I was trying to do today was to get the full design applied on my nail. And we did that. We we've, we've still got some things to do, but we did the thing that I wanted to do. Ooh, what am I doing? Don't do the thumb. Fuck. Now what am I gonna do? Just complete habit. Can I just like swipe this off with alcohol? Okay. Alcohol, multi purpose. Okay. Can I be any messier? Let's just get gel polish on everything. Okay, smooth it out, smooth base is important. Don't paint your thumb. What moan? OMG what? Or did you just come back and see this? Or are you OMGing at my clumsiness? I still really like this. Like I said, if I just was like, hey guys, look at my nails. You'd be like, oh man. Glad those nails are fucking cool, dude. 
But I was like, hey guys, look at look at how much less cool than the actual original foil my nails were. You guys would also be like, man, but Colette, your nails are still cool, dude. Don't worry about it. This one will probably go on the pinky because it's got this little line in the design. Can you kind of see it there? I don't know what that came from. Maybe overly aggressive cleaning? Oh, no, that can't be on the pinky. That has to go on... Uh, that has to go on the thumb, maybe, because the pinky has to be this narrow, narrow one that we have over here. Good thing I remembered that. <sighs> Alright, let's close this up. Let's open the adhesive. Now, once again, it's like smooth, even, thin, so as not to heat spike ourselves into a painful state. And above all, neat are our keywords. And I'm going to try to be like, I'm not wrapping the tip, but like making sure to like smoothly, smoothly pull it to the end of the nail to try and minimize those tip issues we were having. Like, really, like, swipe it over. Like, not wrap it, but swipe it. You know what I mean? I feel like I've got some, couple little issues here, but it's all okay. Um, bubbles, please get out of there. All right. Then we'll cure this, and then we'll put on some more gold bursts. Alright. You gonna be hot? Yeah. Don't burn your fingers. Oh, oh, Tommy, Bean Tommy. <laughs> He's really being super cute today. I can't tell if, well, that can't, it can't be getting worse. Gel polish is cured. It can't be just sitting here getting worse. I feel like as I look at it, maybe it's just that I'm, more and more noticing uh, that stuff stuck to this too did my wrap tips not fully cure are you still sticky better stick this back under here just for a sec upside down sometimes that's what i'll do like put my hand in upside down if i've wrapped my tips and i feel like the light didn't quite get all the way to the underside where it needs to be and just give them a little bit of extra nuking that should be good all right so we've got all of our little things ready we're just going to try and do the, the same technique like we were on the other hand oh this one has a couple little let me see there see the little holes hopefully that won't be too noticeable on the nail Buff, buff, buff. Ooh, I feel like this is not a super great clean transfer. Oh, what did I do wrong? What did I do wrong? Poor little right hand. Oh, it's not too bad. Ha, <laughs> it's fine. There's like a couple like along the edge here where it's little. We'll just. Yeah, I must not have just. Did I like not get good adhesion over here or what? Can I? Just like this little corner area. Well. I'm I'm not. You guys, I'm moving on to the next one. I'm going to let you vote. Does that one suck bad enough that I should replace it? Like re recut another piece and redo it? All right. Alright, 
I'm feeling the same way about this one. You know what the similarity is? These are the two that were not double claimed. These are the two that were not double claimed. So what if I take, now I lost track of which other one that was. What if I take one of these other ones that were double cleaned and get it around the edges here? Yeah, I don't, I don't want to reapply this completely, but let's like, with some of the other little edges. We'll see on the next nail here if that is the actual reason. Because the rest of these are double cleaned. Oh, wait a minute. I'm still missing one. I need one more. I'm going to have to cut one more after this. Because I'm going to need enough for two thumbs, not just one thumb. Oh, that's a horrible one. It's got, like, dents in it. I don't want to use that. that's not very centered but let's see how it transfers better shinier too look at that these two are like okay this one even though it's off center is like yeah that's okay so actually the double cleaning is worth it you guys but those ones they were like very resistant to the double cleaning what can i not is this is the tip of this nail just beyond redemption is that what you're telling me like i didn't get enough adhesive there apparently Okay, let's uh let's do this one. I don't like the position. Well, okay, it's actually better than I thought. Buff it in, buff it to the edges. This is another one that was double cleaned. I can already, yeah, I can already tell. Wow, we've, I feel like we've learned so much today, you guys. Like, really. We've really learned a lot. Double cleaned, single cleaned. But that, like, that other roll was literally harder to double clean. So, let's make sure to get our ones for our thumb out of the good roll. Quote, unquote. Um, get back in there. I just want the main roll. I just want... No, I've got, like, the little half roll wants to come out. Maybe I should top coat these first. Even though the top coat's gonna make us all just a little bit chat, just a little bit sad. Mm. And again, like these top coat, no top coat. You would, you'd never know until you know. And if you don't know, now you know. Anyway, I wonder how it'll affect these ones that are already like a little bit slightly jankier. Like the pinky and the ring finger. Noticeable. Definitely noticeable. Huh. 
There's so many. It's, I mean, it's almost like water marbling. It's so complicated. There's so many factors. Thank you, Emmy. I do like them. I'm I'm overall happy, but I also like can't not acknowledge the areas where I see could be improvement. And one of the possible improvements we're gonna see if it's an actual improvement or not, because we're gonna use the Madame Glam top coat on the thumbs and see if see what happens. Hi, Bane. I see you. I see you, you handsome. Yeah, you boy. Oh, look at these toes. Yeah. Yeah, people are looking at you. You so sleepy? You so comfy? <laughs> what time is it? 5.30? We've been at this for, uh, we've been at this for a while. When you think when you think foils are going to be fast, because you don't have to wait for anything to dry, um, then you're like proven sorely, sorely wrong. And give it just a little bit on the underside for the wrap tips. Hi, don't leave, please. St no, I I knew you were thinking about it. Just stay here. Just stay. Stay with us. Or not. Or not. Alright, so we've got both hands done. Wow. Like all, all these, all these, and then these. I mean, okay, so you, you're get I mean, you're getting a pretty close up view, but from this view, I mean it's not just me, right? These two are obviously not as good. Um it's interesting. Kind of like you said, Barbie. Like, every foil is different. Like, these two are literally the same pattern. Get in there. I only want this one. These are literally the same pattern, but they're not the same. Okay, it doesn't want to do that. Um, so, we need... Can I fit that on my thumb? We're going to make it work. Poor low right thumb is going to get a slightly, perhaps, stunted firework. Yeah, okay, so do you see this little... Can you see? There's fur on my fingers. Like I said, I feel like, like the wrap tips did not fully cure. You, you apparently need just a little bit more time. In fact, probably you also. Give me just a second here, guys. I don't want fur continuing to stick to me. Like, that's the problem with wrapping your tips. If I got another lamp, I would want... I would want a lamp with with lights that go, like, down the sides. And, and down the front. Like, I don't think they necessarily make them with them on the bottom. But, like... These are only up here. Like, you could have them, like, down the side and in there in the front. I feel like that would help as far as, like, wrapping the tips curing properly. Yeah. Seriously. I mean, a stamp is kind of expensive nowadays, so that's, like, not even a joke. Like... That right there, I probably would have... The, the only reason I probably would have put a stamp is because otherwise then I would have felt like my time was wasted for filling out the survey. Unless I noticed before I started that there was no stamp and then I probably would skip it. So, this is the proper first roll. I'm going to do them side by side like this so you can kind of see. This is the first swiping. And you can see like the hollow just already... Whoa, sorry. Sorry, guys starts coming through second swiping look at that it's 
Look at that. So then, like right next to each other. I mean, that's quite a difference. And that's when the little residue starts coming off, too. And it takes like a firm... I mean, you see it's like moving around. It takes a firm press, even with these. With the other one, I mean, I was pressing the same firmness, and it was just like not even not even working but i would say i guess clean your foils as much as they will let you for best results <laughs> oh that got dirty again let me swipe that clean before i actually put polish on it okay so yeah, 55 cents. Yeah, I feel like the little the little flashlights. I mean, like, okay, so I got this flashlight thinking it was great and whatever, but it's kind of in a good example. I mean, you see how like the light isn't even all the way and there's like a more concentrated dot in the middle and then there's like disperse disperse light around it. Like I can I can't I can't imagine, but I can see how it could be very difficult to like do a cure with that and especially if you're trying to work with with other stuff at the same time like just trying to and honestly just myself maybe it's gonna sound super lazy but like holding it steadily in place for a full minute i i might have a little problem with all right so i do my thumbs together in deference to my lamp and I'm going to do Madame Glam on these, and I'm not going to forget to do Madame Glam on these. So I'm going to remember. Going to be very careful and remember. Hey, CJ. Yeah, it's... We, we've had some ups and downs and ups and downs again. <laughs> so, yeah. I mean, this... So this little lamp, it's decent. I'm I'm positive there are nicer lamps out there. I want to say this one was only 30 or 40 bucks. Um it is in my nail polish essentials list cuz I mean it is if if you have gel you need to have some kind of lamp and I feel like this was a pretty reasonable beginner one that didn't feel like the cheapest cheap option. Um but I don't know. Like I said, there's there's factors to it. And some brands claim that you can't use anybody else's lamp. I don't know. I'm really... I want to finish this so I can see if the top coat does better or not. Yeah, and I'm also curious. Do I actually have a command? Caps lock, please. I do not. I do not. I should add one because I'm constantly saying this is on my nail polish essentials list. Or no, maybe I didn't do that because I also have a streaming essentials list. Let me let me take a look real quick at Nightbot and see. I'm too curious. I gotta look. I don't know why I ask you guys' permission as though any of you could stop me. <laughs> um. <laughs> Yeah, I don't think. Yeah, I'll I'll maybe do that later because that would be convenient when I'm sitting here talking about it to be able to actually like reference to it. Um, let's finish. Let's finish this for now. Yeah, well, the thing is, like, okay, so every formula, I'm not going to lie and say that every gel for formula is the same. As little as I know about gel polish, the one thing I can tell you is this. I have tested both my Madame Glam and my Pink Gelac polishes for water marbling, and they both failed. But they failed in completely different ways. So just by that... I mean, it's pretty obvious to me, okay, you guys have something different in your formula. But these lamps, I mean, it's either UV or LED, and, like, it's not that damn complicated. Sure, there are brands that have, you know, different cure times or whatever like that, but at the end of the day, 
it's a uv lamp or an led lamp and i i just i'm sorry i don't believe you i i don't believe you explain to me what is so special in your shit that we need to get your special shit <laughs> mm. yeah yeah does it have the lights like i said going like down the sides yo and it is I, I didn't fully realize it before I got it, but it was something that I kind of noticed when I got it, when I was looking at them. And I mean, it's got like all these mirrors in here. I suppose the idea is to like reflect the light around. Um, I don't think that's really as effective as having the lights themselves coming from multiple angles. I mean, it makes sense that wherever there's not lights, there's like mirrors and reflective to, you know, make the most out of it all. Yeah. Did you see when I just showed the inside of this one? Well, you probably can't see with it turned on like a nuclear furnace, but I'll show it again. But like I said, this was, I don't know. I met, I, I really, it was like a frenzy. Like I was buying all this stuff so that I could do uh, the chrome. But yeah, all the lights are in this part up here. And then all the other sides, the right side and the left side and the back and the bottom are all mirrored. <clears throat> all right. So we can close this up. We're not going to use that anymore. We'll close this up because we're not going to use that anymore. We can put this front and center because we're going to use that. And we're going to use a thin, careful, even coat of the adhesive. And like I said, I don't. I mean, with foils, it's kind of the same thing as like with pigments. If you have a place where you miss your adhesive or where you miss your no wipe top coat or whatever, that's going to be a place that's without pigment or without, in this case, foil. So you really do have to be super mindful. But, uh, and mindful of the bubbles too, as I said. And mindful of keeping it thin. Okay. Little, little heat spikes. Just little ones. So how are you guys? This is like the most awkward position. I guess I could pick it up now that we're past the heat spike stage. To fit both my both my thumbs in here at the same time. Hi, Nisi. <laughs> Butt spot. Butt spot seems to like to jump in on people's hellos. It's like, oh, let, let me get in on this. We are about to do the last couple nails of this other foil manicure, and I'm having mixed but mostly positive feelings. Ooh, this is kind of interesting. I can actually see... Like, it's kind of a... I don't think you're fully cured yet, because you're not... It's like a weird, almost yellowy color, and as it's curing, it's getting slightly more transparent. Kind of like regular foil glue goes from... Um... Milky to clear. See, it's not getting any more though. That's that's interesting. I can you see right there that little pit? That was almost fully black and not milky at all under the light. And I wonder if it kind of settled or separated a little bit. And I wonder if we're gonna have a problem sticking foil right there. You see it in the reflection? Let's see, shall we? We've got our cleaned foils. Double clean, double clean foils. It's the way to go. We're gonna get a good grip here. And uh, like no matter how you do it, it's kind of awkward. And then, of course, it's always awkward trying to get the thumb on camera. 
Not the 100% best placement, but it's okay. And just buff the hell out of it with the Q-tip. Start to see those edges. See, like this one's already lifting. Ooh, that's pretty good. Not quite fully centered. That little spot did not give me an issue. So that's good. And then we've got the other one here. And we've got like a small piece of round, so I'm going to try to... This one is not going to be centered, but... There. That was actually pretty good. So we got the, the short side butted right up against the side of the nail. Actually, let's get to rubbing. Now sometimes too, like I can see here... I've like pushed the Q-tip to the end of the Q-tip or like I'm not on cotton anymore. I'm on to the cardboardy part. So all, all I've been switching periodically to fresh Q-tips to get that cushion, to get the correct pushing. <laughs> need, need that cushion for that pushing when you're dealing with foils, you guys. Which is why it would be so great if I could find my silicone tools. Okay. Okay. Also not the super bestest the ever transfer, but still a pretty good one. Is this... Yeah, that's better. Now. Like you can see... Okay, let's, let's do like this. The thumb is a little bit... It's just a little bit more. Just a little bit. Same with this. Like, it's just just that tiniest bit more. I think the left thumb turned out a little bit better. Yeah. So, we've got our Madame Glam top coat. <sighs> yeah. There's a little bit, but not too much. Like, I thought I was going to have a crack right through there. Or what causes the separation debt? Or you can you can see it, but what causes it? I think maybe it's if I don't get a completely even coat, and then as it's curing, it's not curing evenly. The sep the sep bush sep button butt separation butt would have been perfectly good butt spot because then obviously everybody would know that's the butt crack. <laughs> hey cow. Um. I mean, I'm going to be done in like five minutes because all we got to do is top coat these two nails. But I think I would be overly optimistic to say that I'm going to actually wrap up super promptly after that. But not not much longer, Moon. Um, and then I'm going to go get food and then I'm hopefully going to watch Doc or Luke. So what we're really wanting to see here, this is probably the best thumb one. We're going to top these with our Madame Glam top coat and see if it does the same minimal crinkle that the pink jellac does or if it's better I mean I don't feel like I'm seeing any any moderate crinkling yet. It's... I, I think Madame Glam wins this, you guys. I don't, I don't know if it's even obvious enough where I should actually mention it in my tutorial. Uh, let, let me cure these. Let me let me take a look at them all after I've cured. Um, how long is thirty? Yeah, or both Doc and Luke. That would be ideal. Oh, you're headed out, Moon. Thank you for hanging out. Yes. Yes. And like I said, my brain is going. You'll be hearing from me soon. Like I'm not lying. I'm just I'm very indecisive. 
not lying. I'm just very, very indecisive. You know what else this design reminds me of? You guys remember the star pattern magnet polishes? So does the thumb look better than this middle finger? I mean, it looks looks a lot better than that. Or like comparing it to like... I think it is like a very... I might need to... Let's, let's zoom out just a little bit here. Compared to the rest of this hand, also, we're not at an appropriate focal distance. That's still... Autofocus, will you work with me for, for once? Or is this too much... Too much sparkle for you? Yeah, no, autofocus... Autofocus does, is not a fan of the foils at all. So let me see if I can... Right, no, right there. There. I don't, I don't think anybody else is going to notice. It's hard to compare it to this hand because this hand already has two things going on. I was trying to just compare it with its, with its own hand. And I feel like it is like slightly more, or like do like something like this. It's just like, like I said, these are not, don't don't mind those. These are not messed up, but this is almost flawless. You know, this one. I I really don't know. Like some, when I compare it to some nails, it looks better. And then when I compare it to others, it doesn't. Like right there, they just look the same. Nearly. Like when I get them at that angle, you kind of see like a little bit of fuzziness here and like there that you aren't getting there. Like it's a little bit brighter. I, I'm, I'm definitely not talking about it in the, in the tutorial because I would just ramble and be like, well... Well, you can't really see. I think if I like really hold it like that, though, you guys can kind of see like what I'm. It's subtle. It's it's subtle. But yeah, the the main goal today. Was getting foils, full foil designs on our nails, and we did that. So, yeah, so I felt like when I top coated this, where do I have a, a fresh one, that I'm losing just like a little bit of the, the foiliestness, foi foiliestness, it's not quite as completely smooth and flawless and metallic as it is before a top coat. Like you can still see the, the pattern. It's not like as fully crinkled as if you'd used like a, uh, a regular top coat or something. But I just felt like it, it dulled it just a little bit. Like I could see it happening as I was top coating it before I even cured it. And so on the thumbs, instead of using the rest of my manicures with the pink shellac all shine, I used the Madame Glam top coat. These are my only two top coats I could try. I just thought about like trying like some, that, that, that's number one, not completely true. And I also just thought about what if I did this, but then this would be sticky and it would still need another top coat on top of it. But I actually do have, not in there. I have that gossip top coat. I have that gossip top coat that I should maybe try. And even and too, like if we compare the foiliness, like forget about the thumb compared to the rest of the nails. Like you can see it's not quite as foily as the foil. Is that due to the top coat or is that due a little bit to the application? A little bit of both. Um because like if you think about it, is the crinkle problem a problem of the the, the, like getting seeping under there then the smoother the application you get and the less like wrinkles crinkles or cracks you get then the less uh what i want to say like the top coat can't get in there to mess it up as much 
When I do like this, though, I feel like the thumb looks closer to that than, like, any of these nails look look to that. But then again, maybe, maybe I'm just tripping. Maybe I'm just tripping. Definitely these two are my least favorite. Um, like I said, it was, it was, I could have tried harder, but at the same amount of effort that the first roll took, nothing was happening with those, but cleaning cleaning 100% helped cleaning the foils with alcohol 100% helped um let me take a look around here so my plan for the evening as i said before does not involve streaming again tonight a lot of times i do uh, a second stream on saturdays this week is not one of those weeks uh but i will be back tomorrow evening for a stream um, I'm hoping that Doc or Luke is gonna be is gonna be streaming tonight. Have me enough time to uh have me enough time to uh eat, cook and eat and clean berries. Um Yeah, exactly amethyst. Just like when I was first talking about it, like you're you're noticing the burst pattern and the general like ridiculous metallicness of this. I meet you on the street and you go, "Oh my god, look at your nails. You haven't seen this. You don't know this is where we started." It's good though. I wit like really though, like gel polish is supposed to be like the top best for foils, right? My understanding. Like I'm not a pro at this, but that's like my understanding. So like, if, is this really as good as we can get? Like, what do we got to do to get it to look like this other than not top coat it? Which, guess what? I've tried that. You got a, you got two, three hours before your manicure starts looking like shit. Um, so skipping top coat is not the answer. Apparently, gel top coat is not the answer I thought it was. The other thing, too, as I continue to ramble and bamble. Bamble? That That's not a word. But, um... Not all foils is it going to be this. <laughs> and when I say this noticeable, I'm talking about like my this noticeable. Um, if you had a foil that was less noticeable, like they have foils that have pictures on them or foils that are not hollow or foils that, you know, if, if you don't have a foil that's like exactly this kind of a finish, this is going to be much less noticeable. Whereas like the the actual cracks and crinkles and wrinkles that Sesh Vite causes, I feel like are noticeable on just about any kind of foil. But this is really a very, a pretty subtle, a pretty subtle change. Yeah. And that was, that was top coated. But I think the problem in hindsight was the whole, you got to seal that foil in. If any water gets in there or any oil or any contamination, you're going to have a bad time. Um... So would you guys like um, some Hollow Knight or would you guys like some Bob Ross? Um, not not a ton of people streaming right now. Looks like Wesker's going, and of course it's weekend, so there's Bob Ross. Bob, you guys already know about Bob Ross. Some of you guys might not know about Wesker. I'm gonna send you guys over there. I didn't wait for anybody to actually respond, I guess. Ask, ask for everybody's opinion and not actually wait. Yeah. Oh, you will be on in a bit. That means I gotta, like, clean up. Like, you guys, if you ever wonder, like, can I... So there's, like, this. So we've got, like, these leftovers. And we've got, we've got these little crinkles all over the place, like this guy. We've got, you know, Q-tips and foils and... Oh, why am I doing all this? It would be much easier to just zoom all the way out and I can show you. So this is just like the main work area. Like I said, we've got we've got all this over here. The desk just gets worse from here. This is the good area. The area that's like on camera. The desk just gets worse from here. Literally everything else just got shoved to the side. We've got the tests we did before. We've got both of the stampers still out here. So I need to just like quickly clean up this stuff and then go make me some food and then sit me down to watch some Luke. Pretty good luck in case I don't quite make the beginning of the stream, Luke. Pretty good luck. Um, 
Oh, are you going to stream soon? Am I following you? I need to... Let me open this and make sure I'm following you. I'll check that later. Okay. Ooh, I, I was thinking about ordering from the sale, and then I didn't actually order from the sale. Um, of course, if anybody is new here and you'd like to uh, have more details about when I'm streaming and hang out with these lovely people all the time, you can join my Discord. It's open to everyone. Nails, animals, food. We, I really zoomed the far way out. Oh, well, it doesn't matter. We're wrapping up here. I suck at goodbyes, but this is goodbye. Until tomorrow evening. Um, 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 bum, 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 bum. I don't know. I need to, I need to come up with more of a routine for my ending so that it's not so, so bumbling. I hope you guys have a wonderful rest of your day. I appreciate you hanging out with me and my, uh, nitpicking and problem making and problem solving. Like from here, you really can't tell any difference in any of them. These are the two bad ones, if you're wondering. You, you probably weren't, or you probably remembered. Anyway, anyway, may, maybe I have such a hard time with endings because I need to eat and my brain is just starved um, of energy. Yes, anybody who doesn't have Hollow Knight, it's $9 right now on Steam Summer Sale. And as you know, I highly, highly recommend it. Um, but yeah, thank you so much. Always. And... Uh, Go show Wesker a little bit of love. I don't have a raid message, but, you know, spam the beans if you got them or just say good luck. And uh, I hope I'll see you all next time. And of course, to everyone on YouTube. <laughs> um, For three hours, my only movement was wings. It's been a. It's got dash, too. Must have just got that. Anyway, just distraction as usual. I suck at goodbyes, as I said. Um, but thank you all so much for hanging out and watching this. Uh, extended tutorial as i call them aka the behind the scenes aka blooper reel if you want to see some more youtube stuff there will be links over there and if you'd like to join me live on twitch you can follow at twitch.tv slash msLP i hope you all have a wonderful day as well and as always thanks for watching <laughs>